but <laughs> <laughs> this was also followed by the um the rust monster whose damage can't be repaired with mending showing up um and putting a chunk in one of my barricades and also putting a chunk in one of Nahali's hammers. Um, what a dick. Uh, we then went to the third area, which went a bit better, though Cassie went down, and we ended up um, having to like drag her out of there. But she also had a moment where she hit 60 attacks in a row, I think, or something like that. What the nice. hell? No, it, it was like. Well, it's because of how Cassie's attack was. It wasn't yeah. three. It was a lot. It was. No, no, uh, I said hold on, thirty. Three zero. Hold on. Let me scroll up and I'll see if I can find it. Mm. This might be something I go back yeah, so... onto the onto the sheet. I must have missed something when. Well, uh, it's that her attack when she yeah, gets to an energy, attack, like she gets faster. to attack again instantly again. So she gets to just keep rolling attacks as long as she keeps hitting. There yeah, okay, it. so it was 25 times. Yeah, she hit 25 times, so she did 25 D8 damage. Yeah, 116 damage in yeah. total. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a pog moment. Uh, she then got down, and I dragged her outside, and because Mending can he repair robot pupil for a D4, I pumped 60, I spent for short rest pumping ping 60 Mendings into her. And myself, once there was overflow. Okay. So that was neat. Uh, then we went back uh, to the fourth thing, where we set up pretty well. We were all prepared to like shove bugs into these fireflies that turn people into gold. Uh, but Reichmer uh, built a wall of thorns, and when he pushed for magic to like, uh, he did entangling vines, but he pushed it to make it a wall instead of like anything else. Uh, but when he did that, he accidentally summoned a Bone Devil. I see. Uh, and that was basically the highlight of the combat, because the mining guy finished mining immediately, so we all went outside. There was then some debate about whether or not we dismiss the Bone Devil. And eventually we decided on yes, because it was barely under control, and um, better safe than sorry, basically. Okay. So yeah, that was that, that. That was the session. Huh? Anybody want to add anything on? I will need these two. There's chests on the other side in map two that we didn't get to go look in. That hundred said we could do this session. Some chests. Like he's not here. So I don't know. Yeah, if you look on or not map two, map one in the corner with all the glowy things. I'll remind him for next week, because I'm sure he's got... Yeah, I think... Yeah. Cause... A tape, like a loot table for it or something. Yeah, because I have... Uh, there were... Him and I talked about stuff for this level, and there is stuff on this level for it, but we'll talk about that when we get started. Um, Blue Crew, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Beyond that, the dwarves are ready to get started when you guys are. Right. I just want to make sure one more time everybody is here. Uh, except Lexi, but yeah. Yeah, I, we know she's going to be late. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay. So, Driller Guy, where should we position Driller Guy? 
Gang, any thoughts? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? <laughs> uh, uh, does he need to be in contact with anything specific? Yeah, he needs to be on top of the ore. Within the be on one okay. of those squares that has the ore. Yeah, so like where Molly is, or here, or here. I guess the question is, can they spawn from effectively behind us, or can they just spawn from anywhere in like this circle, semi-circle, half-circle? This, uh, the, do they spawn from like up here, word or can they spawn word. from down here, <laughs> which we don't know? So probably best to have them centrally placed, like have him here. Yeah, well, the bugs, yeah. they don't spawn within about 30 feet of the fang of the driller, like, from the walls or anything. So, it's like, yeah. Then there's two spike pits literally right there, so I would assume they do come from down there. Yeah, okay. Because otherwise, case... why would he put them there? In that case, definitely the central point, then. So you'd like so, to put him here? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, I'm also uh, moving a couple more things. So, on. is the engineer... The engineer is for one who can push people, right? Or is that the bearded dude? That's the engineer. Okay, sick. In that case, we probably want the engineer near the spike some of the spike pits, probably the majority of the spike pits, so probably where Folgar is right now is where the engineer should be. So they can do the pushing people into spike pits thing. I... I don't know about, like, right there. I would say, like, like, here where I am. Because he can knock them back 10 feet. Oh, well, that's 15. It's yeah. like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I said, oh, where, where Folgar is. Well, yeah, the, he can knock them into this one. But just yeah. not that one. And then, and then he can step one to the side if he wants to knock him into this one. Yeah. So, th there is the best place for him. So, engineer here. One more time, sorry. Here. Here. Sick. Uh, and... and then, Gowdy Boy, he just marks shit, so he's pretty much fine where he is. I'd maybe move I'd him believe. back a bit, like here, so he's a little further back from the action. Like, I don't so, think he has a range. Does he have a range? Double checking. And of course it's not on that one, so I have to check the other thing. I, I don't think he does. I think he's literally, he just marks stuff and he places down lane turns. So are the bugs going to spawn from like the walls or do they no, come they from generally down the just path? showed up they generally just showed up in the middle of the path nearby last time. I don't know how uh, how Dylan will do it, but that's how how it happened with Hunter. <laughs> they just sort of like showed up like a, well, yeah, a they came around they showed up sort of like here, stuff. here, and here, and then here. Alright, so what here, if we put like here. one person here, two people here, three people here kind of thing? Yeah, that Former was... perimeter. The scout yeah, does I not think... have a ranged attack. Yeah, he just marks stuff. Yeah, and he like just marks stuff. He, he, any okay, in that case, put him far back. Put him right next to the driller. So, so, so he's right in the corner. Okay. Um, I will go somewhere fairly oh, central oh, oh, oh. where I can do ranged attacks down everything. So here, I think, just like up one, like here. Uh, mage centrally with me, uh, but not next to me. We need to be all be at least fifteen feet apart. 15, That's okay. not gonna happen with this little area. Yeah, here. Put the mage here. Still good sight lines. And Rakema can go where they are is fine, actually. I feel Nahali, like the mage here? should be closer to Molly. So he doesn't just get swarmed and die again. Yeah, true. Uh, maybe swap for mage that's and what Reikma. happened last time. Swap, swap for mage and Reikma. Well, they can both be towards the back. No, we don't want them to be grouped together. Otherwise, the acid breath will kill them. 
I, I think you have to stay in far apart. Like, like Rekma can be up here. Like they don't all have to be down there. Yeah, right up here, I think. And then Nahali here. So relatively far forward and able to like go over here if necessary. Um Cassie I think up one. Yeah. Is then able to move. What is Cassie's movement range? Let me check. It's like 30 40 feet. feet. I'm oh, 40, sure. feet, 40 feet, which is or tons. 40. Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. fine. Yeah, Cassie can literally just okay. sit anywhere. Yeah, okay, we're good. I think that this. Oh, wait, no, I should deploy some of my barricades. I, I will so. deploy the damaged one here. Did he. Oh, for the he had too. some way of keeping track of which one was damaged. I don't know what it was. But one of them has one less AC and less health. The fifth of the health, yeah. yeah. I knew about and the fifth of the health, health thing. I didn't know about the AC, and I don't know how he kept track of it. So we'll put the... We'll just put the first barricade. <laughs> uh, here. Okay, put it here. Okay. Cool. Give me a second uh, to then... adjust. So it has a fifth bits HP, or it's missing a fifth bits HP. So it's at thirty. Two. Yeah. 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 And then let's put the other two here, two others here, and one in front of Rikmo there. And then one in front of Rikmo. The other two where? Next to Nahali. Uh, here and here, so it's like limiting that path so that you have to go through the spike pit or into Hughes' line of fire. Now, now Harley can handle herself, okay. but like this area is potentially a bit more vulnerable. Okay, I think that's everyone set. Anyone want to change no, anything? I'm, I'm gonna put capital drops down, and then we're gonna do. Where is it? Eh. We're gonna put no, don't make it smaller, please. Thank you. Uh, we are going. Where do I want to put these? Actually, no, it's fine. I can, can I? Now, okay. Well, it's gonna just make me use one anyway, so whatever. Uh, we're just gonna put it here. I don't know why it's doing that, but okay. What spell is that? It, it's not a spell, it's Caltrop. Oh. Like, like the physical object. Why? Yeah. What happened there? I don't know. Here, let me try placing another one. If you want to delete that. Sure. Because I can't delete it once I place it. There we go. That looks normal. Okay. There. Okay. Oh, That's all I got. Unless Fulgar has something. Nah, I don't really have any prep stuff. All right. Does that mean everybody is ready? Sure. Yeah, I think. Yeah, make the, make the roll for what's attacking us. No, well, I got to see how much progress you guys make. Uh, well, that's needed to make first for the ore. Oh yeah, you've got to uh, you do the drill as target. Okay. Oh, you're rolling it privately. Oh, he rolled it publicly. Oh, that's oh. exciting. Oh, oh, yeah, this he's... is even better. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that's no, no, no. I'm all for it. Absolutely. Don't tell us anything. Like he <laughs> even wrote it fucking down on the map as well. So. Oh, Hell he's yeah. way too generous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do I get here? Yeah, and then he also wrote publicly the. Uh... Like what? Yeah, the reinforcements like as the well. Things we were getting. Yeah, what was spawning in was also publicly available. Knowledge. Yeah, no, I'd rather keep it a surprise. 
yeah, I knew you well, well, it was probably available to the point of, like, the numbers. So, like, the Rust Monster, for example, is a six on a six. Yeah, so we were, so we were like, oh, it's a, it's a Rust Monster. Fuck. <laughs> well, we didn't know that until he said it, though. Yeah, but oh. once we knew, we were then like, oh, it's a Rust Monster. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, him and I, oh, oh, then the, the little thing I, oh, no. That's not how. Okay, well, huh? <laughs> There's some conflicting. Well, just say, like, a, yeah, a different level of the mind, different rules. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then. Just want to double check. Let's go spawn there. And then I suppose I need to maybe create the encounter next. Yeah, you need to select us all and put us into encounter time. Do 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 ru do do do. I am lighting a torch and throwing it on the ground here. Wow, that, that is not what I was expecting when I said, when I clicked the torch button, I was not expecting the fireball thing. Okay. Okay, okay. Why are you trying to throw a goddamn fireball? Of course you finally want to do the setup as I spawn to the bugs, you fucking, I, why? Why do you do this to me? Because I forgot that I have torches. I was just looking through. I'm like, oh, look, I have torches. <laughs> you said no. You said no, you were fine. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even know how he does the torch thing. I think you just make a light. Yeah, he literally just makes a light. Just make a light with the right radius, and it's going to be a 40 foot total, uh, 20 foot bright, and it's going to be flickering animation. Thank you. Oh, uh, how am I supposed to change the properties on that? Uh, right click on it, double click right on it. Right click uh, turns off. Yes, double click worked. Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't get to play with this kind of stuff often because my server would cry. Yeah, <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. Don't and worry. Then... Base configuration, degrees, rotation angle, color intensity, activation, whole... So for color stuff, you might want to make it, like, orangey? I don't know. Because it's like a fucking torch. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> if I could figure out what color or how to change the color... Contrast, constraint by walls, constraint by elevation. Yes, yes. Does flickering just make it automatically bright and dim? Oh, yes, it does. It's, it, it's yeah. time. It has begun. Dylan, the song. Okay. The song, Dylan. The song? A song I sent you. 
Oh. Well, I can't play that song because we're streaming. <laughs> yeah, I know. So basically, uh, for, for those who uh, aren't haven't watched the news, uh, Iran just launched a uh, drone strike on Israel. Huh. Like, Fun. directly. Like, not through proxies, not through anything weird. Like, directly. That's... Hmm. And guess who's allied with Israel? That's going to cause some problems. The U.S. <laughs> yeah. Did Hunter have the driller have a combat, or did he just do it at the end of initiative? Uh, he didn't. Uh, have... The driller, the driller had their own initiative, which came up in the turn. Okay. Yeah, but his only thing is drilling. Yeah, yeah but that's what he does on his turn. He has I an have initiative, that and on his I just turn, needed to know the initiative the drilling. thing. Yeah, um, on his turn, he does drilling. That's everybody. Yes. Unless your barricades need it, and for some reason. <laughs> no? Alright. And then if I good. hit begin combat, it should auto-roll, right? No. I know there's a way to auto-roll. Ah, there we go. Oh, Love nice. it. Okay. A 22. Alright, oh, there's Fulgar. a rust monster. There's a rust monster. Where's the rust monster? I cannot see the rust monster. Good, you're not supposed to. I see two spitters. <laughs> oh, wait, I see a spitter! I see a spitter! It's hiding around the corner. three spitters. I don't see anything on my side, though, so I guess for now I just stand guard? <laughs> I prepare an action for when something approaches my sight on my side. Okay. He's not done rolling initiative yet. Yes, I am. Then yeah. what about me? Did I miss you? Yeah, I'm not. How did it. I miss you? Oh, oh wow! How the fuck is he not in combat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My bad. Now, okay. He goes before I me. Higher okay. Than age. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I can't see anything, so yeah. Not see fucking dick out here. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna move. Oh, they can probably burrow through the walls as well. They can somewhat burrow through walls, but they can't do it yeah, within move... like 30 feet of the objective go left or, right. or something. Uh, let's go left. Yeah, because that'll be more. To... Yeah. Yeah, get a better angle around here. Yeah. So I'll just see if there's any. Ah, I see them. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, there's two spitters up there. There nice. is spitters, actually. Where the good, fuck are good. the Rust Monsters so, and the adults? <laughs> it is time. This is the part that's going to make people panic. I, I love doing this. This is the part I enjoy. <laughs> oh, it's coming from the ceiling, probably. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Or, um, or burrowing up under us. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to aim at, I guess, this one. This one on the top here? Yeah, the topmost one. Okay, okay. Uh, boop. Yes, and because of Dread Ambusher. So I'm gonna roll to attacky. Find seven. That does the hit. It in fact does. 16. Is it dead? Maybe I'm making sure that this thing doesn't have AP somewhere, which it. Doesn't look like it does. The spitter, I don't think it does. No, it's just okay. the adults and the Praetorian. Cool. And then, if that is the case. You did 16 to it. Uh, it is yeah. barely alive. Okay, then I'll use the D8 from the Dread Ambusher for another 4. Just enough to kill it. Whoop de doo, yay, okay. So, uh. Then I'm gonna use the bonus attack from Dreaded Ambusher. Here, yep. shoot. The second spitter. Cool. Eighteen. Which is a hit. Alrighty. Eighteen damage. It is barely alive. Alright, I'm gonna use sneak attack. Sneak attack! Friend of five. Which is enough to kill it. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't have line of sight on that one. I think. Of the rocks. No, you do not. There is a lot of rocks in your way, my good sir. <laughs> yeah. But if I move where here, would I be able to see it? What the fuck was that? No, because more rocks. I would have to move like way the fuck up here. Okay, that's fine. Well, I don't see any more over there. So I'm just going to move back. Here I was. Boop. Nice. Full guy. Uh, same thing. Just preparing my action for when something comes within my vision. Great. The mage is going to look around to the party. What should I do, guys? Um. um hold the course. It looks like uh, I'll be swarming around corner soon. Um, even when they do uh, prioritize hitting the, the rust, the acid uh, destroying creatures. If yeah, the Praetorians. Yeah. The Either Praetorians or the Rust Devils. I meant the Rust guys, but... You yeah. got it, bosses! Uh, and he's gonna ready his action. You play for... the mage bitches. You play the, the, the NPCs very differently. I love it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The engineer is gonna look around. He's just kinda gonna wait for the same thing. See if there's anything to... Yeah. A bonk. Rafe! Cool. I cannot move very far, but if I go just check how far it'll be. Yeah, let me quickly... Oh, good. I can see someone if I do that. Apparently, um, do I have line of sight on them or not? I'd say maybe, but it's hard to tell. I think it's tell. half cover. It would get half cover, so it has uh, plus right. two to its AC. I'm gonna keep moving then. I'm gonna keep moving then, and so that I now you me. have clear line of sight. Yeah, good. Uh, and I am going to shoot them with my cannon. Like, let's not fuck around. Uh, I would like to use ability. I would like to. Uh, Attack with the cannon. Uh, normal. I don't think I get any advantage or disadvantage. Does that hit? It does hit. Sick. Um, uh, it takes some... 21 damage. That's enough to kill it. Nice. Uh, that is then the end of my turn. Is that the first time your cannon hand has actually hit anything? I think it fucking is. <laughs> <It's the thing. laughs> actually, no, I take that back. It's the first time it's hit an enemy. <laughs> yeah, there was that. Uh, yeah, there was that time that the that uh, I shot a cannon at a guy with um, fucking reflect shot, and he threw the fucking cannonball back at me. Yeah, and you also shot me in the back with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was that too. <laughs> the driller is still drilling. This ore is really spicy ore, and by spicy I mean thick and hard. So. Wait, 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 spicy like cinnamon? Yes, it's, it's cinnamon, the cinnamon mine. Yes, yeah, the yes. cinnamon it mine. Is now canon. Uh, by, by the way, does anyone have anything that can actually help the driller progress faster? Because I know my inspirations can, but I only have three of those left. And obviously, like we've got a lot of drilling to do. There's like five things total in this map, and then there's the big thing at the end. Inspiration so, doesn't help have with nothing. drilling. I'm gonna say that right now. What does it help last time? Uh... Bardic inspiration? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bardic inspiration. Okay, I thought well, yeah, you meant regular inspiration. inspiration. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> okay, I missed the Bardic yeah. part of that. My bad. Woo. Yeah, I'm a bard. <laughs> <laughs> bardic inspiration helped with drilling last time. Okay, so that I have a note on. Bardic inspiration, I have a note on. Inspiration, I don't have a note on. Yeah. Bardic inspiration. The th the thing about it is, I only have three charges of it left, so I don't want to use them yet. But 
does anyone else have anything they could do to help speed the driller up? I'm not even sure what we could do to help speed the driller up other than Bardic Inspiration. So if anyone has any thoughts, now is the time. What if I enlarged the driller? Would that he, help? He would just hold the drill in probably one hand instead of two. It wouldn't make the think, mining the I think it makes their easier. items go bigger. Oh, too, yeah, it does. So, yeah, he would get, like, the 1d4 weapon bonus that, um... Yeah, he would get, like, the 1d4 weapon bonus. That oh, God, I am going there. to ask you to enlarge for drill. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I on suppose I can do turn. that on my next turn. Yeah, on your next turn. <laughs> all right. Um, that's going to be it for the driller's turn. Now it's the sneaky bugs. Just saying, oh, I think I can only borrowing, cast it aren't they? twice. Hey, here they are. Hello. Oh, it's popped out right next to Reikmo and you here. Oh, that's fun. See, so, yeah, I can only oh, cast enlarge twice, and it only lasts for one minute. Ah, I mean, yeah, yeah but a minute's case, a long ass time in combat rounds. A minute though. is ten rounds, so maybe yeah. not this, but maybe not this combat, but like the next one, you cast an enlarge, then the one after that, I do inspiration at least once, and then, uh, by the way, they can't burrow within like a certain number of feet of the ore deposit. Um, they can't ruling, start but... out within a certain amount of feet of the ore deposit. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. That wasn't how Hunter phrased it last time, but... Yeah, Hunter phrased it as they basically have uh, the, tr the tremors of the drill make them where they can't burrow. Let me reread what I was given area. about that. Because that's how he explained it. And that's why they were coming us from, like, the... the what's it called? Ways? Like, the main um... walkways there. Then something might have gotten lost in communication, because it is, uh... I only see something about them starting out, uh, somewhere, uh, X amount of feet from X amount of thing, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, otherwise, yeah. Um, I- he might be popping in and out. If I see him say anything, I will, uh, will retcon something, but... Uh, in the meantime, two of the, uh, one of the adults no longer has any movement or actions. One of the adults, uh, let's see, I don't think. Ah! All right. The first adult up here is going to shoot a spike at you, Hugh. Okay. Uh, AC, please. 17. Oh, wow, you don't even let us see what the roll to hit is? I only do that in case of something really, really, really bad, because that is- that's just a personal rule. Because oh, I've wow. had direct no, 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 no. con, it's just interesting like... seeing the differences. It's just interesting seeing the differences. It's good. No, uh, like I said, I roll totally, completely differently. Like it's, yeah. Um, Hunter you... rolls completely in the open, so no one can say any fudging of the numbers. While Dylan rolls completely privately, so he can fudge the numbers. I only fudge it in the party's favor, or if oh, it no, fits the map. I know. I know. But you said you can't. But you can. Um, you are going to be hit for seven. Uh, actually, I'm not. You're not. <laughs> I, I take half. Great. Anything else? Any AP <laughs> uh, I should no. be worried about? Okay, I'm not. No, I've studded armor. Ah, okay. So, so, I take three. Okay. Fair enough. The other spike is going to be thrown at Rekma, which will be done through... Th are these barricades three quarter or full cover? I don't think I ever got a note on that. I think they're three. Uh. 
to be perfectly honest, I don't even I, I don't think we ever got that far with how thick they are. Uh, when damn. it comes to like cover wise, because it was an AOE blast between two of them, and then the other one was they're, they're, it just took a bite out of it. When I bought them, they were full. They're full cover. They are five feet. Thick. Okay, Jesus Christ, that's a chunk and mortar. Okay, so yeah, they're, if that's full cover, yeah, it cannot fire at Rekma. Um, what can it fire at? It can fire at Hugh again, and Hugh is the closest. But it, ah, no. Mm. Mm. Okay, sorry, Hugh. Another spike attack is coming your way. Rah! No. That's a miss. Whoa. Um. Beyond that, that is the adult's turn, because the other adult used its action to burrow through all the way. Rekma's turn. Oh boy. Hey, quick quick note. Quick note. Uh, my internet is playing the fuck up. Uh, I'm gonna have to hop off for a sec. I will be back in a second. That's fine. I can take a look at Rekma's character sheet in the meantime. So. Oh, I forgot to open a page. Yeah, I forgot to open a page. Page. Did he ever pin it, or am I an idiot? Did he post it? Probably not. No, he didn't. Hmm. This is why I ask for these things. 5e. Because if I'm right, this is the crate. Definitely not this one. I think he put it in the character sheet for me. Maybe. No, I'm crazy, aren't I? This is why I always say like. I thought I was ready for all this. I knew there was something I was missing. <laughs> what is playing music? Music? I don't hear any music. I don't know. Something is playing music somewhere. I don't know what it is. Pretty sure that's on your end, man. 
Yeah, it's not. No, in I know the it is. Not. Okay. I don't know where. Is it like somebody outside with a boombox or some shit? Like. No, because it's playing through my headphones. Oh, it's fucking Steam. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I hate Steam sometimes. I really do. On the bright side, uh, this is what's it called? Alexi will be here soon, which is great. <laughs> um, yeah, because it's also almost her turn, and that'll be perfect. Because I'm still taking the fucking time to find the stupid thing he told me that he's easy to find. Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> no, no, you should know. If Hunter says it's easy to find, it's easy for him to find because he knows where in this complicated mess of a thing it is. He organizes it like I do. Exactly. Which is <laughs> meaning not at all. Well, he said it's just at this link. It, like, it looks like it's a 3.5 chart, but like I can't I can't find the same chart he has, which is the part that's really fucking with me. I found it. I think. Well, now I have to guess which one of these three it is. This is fucking... <laughs> well, this is why I wanted to leave. I have to deal with anything, so... Alright, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I know it's not this one because the text here is too short. So, hold on. Okay, it's not that one. Alright, I'm back. <sighs> That's great. Um... I've been away. I've been trying Nothing. to find the chart that Hunter uses specifically because I know there's a specific thing on there that I can use to determine which one it is. However, I've found four different charts that look very similar and don't have the thing on there. What thing? 
when he pushes his wild magic and gets the random thing like uh, oh uh i have no idea i yeah. have an idea at this point the problem is is i still can't find the specific one he was using and that's it i and this is why i said we should pin it in the chat because he said it's gonna be easy to find so far it has not been Uh, why is he pushing his magic, by the way? It's not... He, he's not pushing his magic yet. I just wanted it just in case. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Um, otherwise... Oh, God. Rekma can barely see the bugs in front of him. Yeah, probably my fault for moving away with the lamp. I should have left the lamp on the fucking ground. Oh, yeah, and Dylan, by the way, I forgot. While I'm in low light, uh, I have, uh, I'm invisible. No, oh, so, you, uh, you are in low light right now. I have now. umbral light. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, you, you'd be in low light at this point, because you're in the dim portion of Rafe's torch, and you, it, you're literally yeah. barely in the radius. Um, alright, well, it's Rekma's turn. I'm leaving. He is going to. Oh dear lord! This is not a great spot for Rekma. Um. I mean, you can ask to splash him. No, never mind, because it's five feet. Yeah. He is going to use a chromatic orb. He's actually going to use orb. his... Are you guys telling him well, to use no, his he gets disadvantage. Orb? Well, he gets disadvantage because oh, it's yeah. within melee. Yeah, which is why so he's going to use formed. his Cloud Silver Cutlass. Oh, I forgot. That makes sense. Yeah. Everyone at the crew does. Oh, yeah, that's right, because... <laughs> everyone got beat a shit ton. Um... That does hit, barely, but... Rickman is going to it deal not do seven much damage. damage to the little guy. Not seven, but a little less. Uh, than one, because they've got so they've got six armor. Yeah. Um. Do they have six? They do not have six. Yeah, no, they don't have six. They have like one. No, I could have sworn they had six. Hold on. No, I think you're thinking of the arm, the rust eaters. Cause, no, the, Petro uh, cause the, the Petroleum's had in... six, and these... these guys definitely had at least four. They have three, I'll tell you that for a fact. Oh. Yeah. The more you know. Okay. There. Yeah, because the whole thing between them oh, and the uh, yeah, Petroleum's where they're easy to hit, but they have AP. So this one's actually it. Okay, there we go. That's the proper health. How did it... Yeah, there we go. Um, and then Rekma doesn't have anything like extra attack or whatnot, does he? Yep. He's a mage. Hmm. Unfortunate for him. Uh no, no funny, haha, -ha bonus actions, huh? Uh well, yep. one, but he's not going to use that yet. Um, Rekma is gonna finish his turn, and it's gonna go to Nahali's turn. Cool. Uh, in the spirit of Nahali, uh, Nahali is going to run over to here. Do, do, do. Sorry, character sheet was in the way. I think that's in her movement speed. I haven't checked let me double check she has because i don't know if i know that i don't know that uh, i can't check it 30 feet so ah so that's gonna get her here yeah darn in that case uh she was here originally yeah correct okay so can she get to here in 30 feet yeah she can good okay in that case uh could she use her blunderbuss on these two chuckle fucks Maybe? Yes. Uh, 
I think it hits a cone. It does hit a cone. I just wanted to make sure he wasn't in the way for a second, because I don't think yeah, that's, would well, that's why Yeah, that's why I had her carefully positioned to the side of you. So Wait, she what's will... Nahali doing? Uh, shooting a blunderbuss. Ah. Because can't quite get into melee. I won't have her rage quite yet, because... No, you, no, she's not raging yet, because yeah. she rages are limited per day, and she's saving her rages for when they count. But she is just shooting these two of a bond of us. There. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Ooh, I like that. I cannot wait till I have a server for myself that can run all of this. This is so cool. <laughs> Alright. Um, in which case, she is... They are going to roll their dexterity saving throws first. The 1d6 is lightning damage, I assume, correct? Yes, I think so. Yeah, because that would yeah, that makes sense. I I, I don't know the stats of the I don't know the stats of the blunderbuss, man. I just know she has it. Okay, well she's using. <laughs> I it can't even and... check the stats. I don't have access to her character sheet. <laughs> you guys can't even view each other's character sheets. Oh. Nope. Nope. I I've been letting my players do that so they can help each other out with each other's features. Okay. Um, if I double click on her, I get to find out about her current ongoing projects and her appearance. So if that's the case, okay, this one failed. That's like Fulger. I only see his background. That's it. Uh, you, I can't even click on here. Aha! Uh -huh, I'm the invincible, the invisible mastermind. Yeah, pretty much. You guys can see each other's character sheets. I can only see me and Nahali. And even the Holly only has the appearance and background. Yeah. Well, I can only see uh, you, Gage, and then a Holly. Weird. That there's no half damage or anything when it no okay cool i couldn't tell you man <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking out loud here don't worry <laughs> i'm running in blind besides the notes i was given so all right oh, those are cal drops i shouldn't mess with those cool uh yeah one of them dodged out of the way the other one got a hurt the blunderbuss flings it into the wall. Nice. And then the scout. -na -na -na. He is going to go ahead and mark this enemy because this is the only one he can basically see. Nice. That means it's then Cassie, and Cassie should go smash that guy. Cassie will go yep. smash that guy, and not in the sexy way. Yeah. So they get ad ad so she gets advantage on the uh, on all her her many many attack rolls against this go little goober. Give me two seconds. I'm hopping between too many tabs right now. Okay. Okay. So, Cassie is going to go ahead and... Mm, yeah. Next to Reichmar, I think. Yeah, there we go. And... That would be nice if I could open the character sheet, please. Thank you. And then you want just energy lacerate, and we just attack, 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 until she misses. 
Oh, and she has advantage on, on all of on the first one of these. Uh, there's a feature I'm missing, if that's the case about the... Oh! Oh. Huh? Um... She has extra attacks, so once she fails the first time, she still gets the extra one. Oh, right. Nice. Yeah. Did so, you fail the first one even uh, with advantage? No, I'm trying to find the advantage thing on the character sheet. Uh, energy lacerate, blade dance... The, advan the advantage is due to the targeting from the scout. Oh, okay, thank you. Alright, then we will go ahead and start with the energy lacerate. Attack, advantage. That's a hit. Another attack. Got an alarm gauge? Oh, uh, that's actually my dad calling. Oh, okay. Hold on, I'm right back. Okay, well... Is this... How dead is this, this, this bug? Well, if she could actually start doing damage, enough. Ah. I will let you know this most recent one is a critical failure. Oh, that's fine. Uh, that just means the chain ends. Yeah. Great. Extra attack. Okay. Is it gonna? There we go. Now it's dead. And then she has ten feet of movement left. I think yeah, ten feet of movement left. Back up. I know I'd have a back up because she's fragile. Back up to here, and then she can go in again on her next one. She's a rogue. Dart in now. All right. Then it's the scary thing. Now let's see where it comes from. Wait, how is it getting across that river of lava? <laughs> oh, it's not. It's sneaking around like a dick. <laughs> cool. I can't see anything. Hugh's turn! Um... Oh, no, wait, in the top of round, you need to roll reinforcements. Uh, for you guys? No, for them. No, for them. Ah, no, every other round, so I don't do it until the end of this round. Oh, really? Mm. Every other round? It was every round last time, hell yeah. I don't think it was every round. No, okay, no, it, it was, was every like... other round. It was every other round. Yeah, it was like... Because we, we all keep... Cause we yeah, because it was... Rounds. Yeah, it's... Yeah, or within okay. two rounds. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. well. Now, I'm going to say I'm this gonna... again. If you guys retreat after getting this first or the session ends. That is what Hunter told me. Uh, that's if you guys are retreating to, you know, end that level and then get ready to go to the next one. So. Yeah, okay. that's different than the short rest one. Yeah. yeah, that's the okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, there's two more bugs here, so uh, I'm gonna 
go and uh, shoot them with me revolver. Uh, which one are you shooting? Um, let's do the top one. Okay. And then sneak attack. Actually, I'm going to also use my thing here to re-roll. Where, where the fuck is it? Where is it? Oh, yes, piercing. So I'm going to re-roll the 1d12 from the revolver, so from a 1. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, so it's a 7 instead. Six more damage. You know. And this is all one attack. I just need to clarify this, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, for my extra attack... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shoot him with my revolver again. That's Does a, a 15 hit? A 15... Hits. For 15. It's dead. Okay. <laughs> mm. um, Man. Having two players who know my uh, my tricks. Uh, mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and I haven't even done anything yet. Think yeah, about that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it does help and... you guys are at the top of the initiative order. <laughs> yeah, that is helpful. Like, getting yeah. cracked first is helpful. <laughs> uh, that will be the end of my turn. Fogar! Woo! Still nothing happening on my end. Should I uh, continue guarding this, or...? I feel like you oh, should yeah. just continue guarding it, because we're going to get another yeah, thing coming fighting. through there. All right. yeah, Do you have like, your anything to shoot at range with? Yes, I have a crossbow. Why not try and shoot with a crossbow? Because I can't see it. Do you not have dark vision? Nope. Kobolds do not, by default, have dark vision. Huh. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> what are you going to so, do? So I'm, invisible. <laughs> so I'm just invisible here. And all anyone sees from Hugh's position is like two flashes of light that briefly illuminate the area. And then he's just invisible again. Nahali is a bit surprised at first at the flashes of light. Before seeing uh, no, the Nahali, has, Nahali has dark vision. Nahali is, oh. is, is, is just fine. Yeah, yeah. Nahali can see me just fine. It's everyone else who can't. Mm. And I yeah. think Cassie has dark vision. I think Cassie has dark vision. If she doesn't, oh, her no, eyes doesn't. act as it, though. No, but her eyes can. Her eyes turn on like light bulbs. Token says sure. yes, she has dark vision. Alright. Wow. So there you go. <laughs> Rickma does not have you. dark vision. That's fine, though, because he has a metal barricade between him and the one adult that's right there. <laughs> the dwarves do not have dark vision. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to. F I'm gonna have to fucking stay next to him and leave my lamp there in the future on time. Well, no, because the scout can drop a lantern. He has he like can. oh shit, of scout them. can drop a lantern. Yeah, nobody's yeah. asked him to though. No, <laughs> that's true. I thought other Wait, people how had many charges different. of his lantern does he have? He has a shit ton. Uh, sixteen, twelve. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, he so he has twelve. Drop yeah. lantern then. And they last an hour. Yeah, drop a fucking lantern on his next turn. <laughs> there you go. I'm assuming tell somebody's telling him in character to do it. I would also like to mention that I still have um, 19 torches. So between two people, you have a lot of light sources. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Fulgar, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know, I'm debating whether or not I should either, like, toss a torch here, or just, 
you know, hunker down and wait for the next wave. Okay. Well, I would like you to decide since it is your turn. Now, what do you guys toss think? Should torch. I throw a torch or should we leave it for the scout? Toss the torch. I'd say toss All the right. torch. Yeah. Uh, where would you like to toss it? I would say you can toss it about 20 feet safely. Uh, that, that's weird the way this is set up. It only anticipates you having one torch, so it has a uses thing, which I thought would mean like it would subtract one from my torches. But no, it just subtract one from the use of one torch. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. I guess that's a good spot if I can only throw it 20 feet. Anyone else have any complaints there? No. Rekma can kind of see now, guys! Hell yeah! <laughs> I don't think I can see, though. How sad. Oh well. <laughs> Yep, I guess that's the end of my turn. Alright. It's the mage's turn. He readies his action for another Praetorian. <laughs> or a rust monster. I was about to correct you on that, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. It is the engineer's turn. He is also waiting to push something in a pit. Rafe. Cool, I am gonna move back 25 feet. The, to the spot I started at. Can I from here see this dude? Survey says yes! Sick! Hugh okay. is in the way though! Is he like actually in the way or is he, <laughs> he like somewhat I'm a in small the way? Creature, the feather on his hat is in the way. What do you mean my hat's in the way? The feather on your hat's in the way, that's it! Uh, I will risk the feather on Hughes. <laughs> Wait, I don't have a feather. That's my horn. I don't have a feather. Oh, that's your horn? Oh. Yeah, that's Let's my cease. horn. Alright, then that's yeah, nothing's head. in the way. <laughs> hey, Alexi! <laughs> hey, Hit you. Hi, I am a bit tired, so I don't... Oh. Bugs. Oh. Uh, for now, then, Not yet. I will... You guys are actually doing fairly fine, although it is only the first war. Uh, you know what? I will shoot this this thing with my cannon again. Do it. I'll just do like it, do it. Do it. <laughs> Slam another cartridge in. Level it. Ten. Taking the shot, you kind of use Hugh's horns to help aim the cannon as if it's like yeah, an extra like pair iron of iron sights. sights. It's yeah. Iron sights. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll that damage. Hits, I assume. Uh, nice. Uh, take tw twenty damage. Yeah, it's you dead. Fucker. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Boom. I'm I'm here. Hello. 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 Uh, you w you weren't able to get to melee from where we'd positioned you, but you walked over and you shot them with your blunderbuss. I have a blunderbuss? Yeah, you have a blunderbuss. Yeah. Oh. You then have a blunderbuss. You also have spear uh, you spears. You have a really good blunderbuss, actually. Oh, it yeah, does I took it off now. Oh, right! I fucking... <laughs> I, I picked it up when I used it like a, a turtle guy on that one shipping. Yeah, the turtle guy used... had the blunderbuss, and you I took it I used it from specifically him. to blow his head off and then never touched it ever again. Yeah, <laughs> well, here, because you weren't able to get to melee yet, I thought Nahali would probably use it. Huh. Weird. Alright. <laughs> I know. How strange. Some strange <laughs> force I came over Nahali. I think, that's, I think that's the first ranged attack Nahali's made all freaking... Uh. It is. That's actually the first time you've ever fired a ranged weapon. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. You ruined my perfect record. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If I had known I was breaking a streak, I would have just had her stand there and fume angrily. That's what I normally do. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> we can retcon it if you want. <laughs> I'll be honest, I completely forgot that that thing even existed, so I probably would have used it by now if I remembered. Probably. Okay. Maybe. I would say Hugh probably would have been like after the last time, is like, why didn't you just shoot them? It's on your back! <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> You've, been, wasn't you've had that gun this whole time! It's not in my hot bar, that's just in my inventory, okay? <laughs> There's anything in my inventory. I have a bag of holding and I use my guns! That's crazy! <laughs> You're the guy with 12 guns that's holding your shit. Hey, I sold like 9 of them. Uh, uh -huh. This is great. This is all great. Um, over from the dwarf you hear... Rock and stone, all's done! Uh, yeah. Oh, you're almost done! In that Rock case, we can stone. retreat and have a short rest. Um, after you finish clearing out the rest of the bug. <laughs> oh, we were, we're, 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 oh, previously we just got to run away and leave the bug, but okay. Oh, yeah. but then we leave the things we've deployed for the bug to attack. Yeah, okay, we'll wait for the bug to show up. I mean, if you want your barricades to lose, like, half their health, that's up to you. No, but... <laughs> I do not want that. I do not want that. The barricades are, we are killing this rust monster. <laughs> Um, the driller is uh, gonna look to around to... for confirmation that everybody's, uh, ready for him to be done with this. Yeah. He's gonna get ready to move Ooh. Molly. I'm so sleepy. Aw, poor Lex. And, uh, it is going to be Rekma's turn. Rekma not knowing where this thing is going to jump out of Rekma, is... can you do so can you do anything that could help you work out where it is? No, you can't. Wow, your spells, spells are not good at that, uh, she said, looking at Rickman's character. <laughs> <laughs> Stay ready, it could pop out from anywhere. Gotcha! Um, and then it is Nahali's turn. Oh, yay. I'm here. Are there enemies? Being disassociated for a moment, you feel weird holding a blunderbuss. Just like, wait a minute, this is an oddly shaped hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ranged hammer. Why uh, am I holding it with two hands? What? Hey, listen, when, when everything in the world is a nail, all you see are hammers or something. <laughs> um, I, legitimately, are there any? Do we know if there is any enemies on? But there's the one left somewhere in the wall. We know there is one bug Call, somewhere, off. but you we don't know where it, it, where it where it is in character. Out of character, we know it's somewhere inside this fucking wall. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what I should. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go over here and protect the mage. Sensible. Yes, and I'm gonna hold an hold an attack action. And be done. Last time we didn't protect the mage, the mage immediately burst into flames. And died. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Will you be doing anything else for your turn besides just running over to your little mage moth boy? I mean, does anyone desperately need a little bit of lay on handsy? If not, then we're fine. No, I mean, I think we're all good. No one took any damage. Except for you. The, the seven damage I have marked, I've had since the, this started, and you couldn't even fix it with lay on hands. So it's all good. Yeah. I took three damage. Yeah, but... you took three damage. Oh, yeah, you took three damage. I took three. I am five under my maximum health life total. Yeah. Oh, I'm not shit. Even we need to, four. We need to I'm four up. under my maximum life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, holding any actions or anything? I mean, I'm holding an attack action, but that's this. Cool, cool. That's it. The scout is ready. He's ready to throw out a flare. He's looking around. Uh, uh, he oh. does it... Guys, where do you want oh, me to can, throw it? Can, uh, can, he ho can he hold a marking on the guy when he shows up? He will hold his like, action the to mark the guy up. when he shows up, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cassie, the guy being the, the big angry the big, bug. Yeah. Cassie will also the hold their one. action for when um, said evil thing appears. So Dude, when this thing shows up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it's, it's going to be real great when this thing finally arrives. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's here! <laughs> 
Um, uh, okay, you can, you can Nahali, me. you're the closest. Go ahead. My attack? Yeah, you're the I'm closest. Attacking. Go ahead. You're attacking a, a rust thing. monster. Keep in mind. This is a rust thing. I'm gonna punch it with my bare hands. Fuck it. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I know that I don't do have a bunch of un I don't do much unarmed. It does damage. have six on. <laughs> That's fair. That I don't even think true. you're gonna do damage because of that. that is true. Hold on. What does this musket even do? The the rust eater. That's the one where you smacked it with no, your no, hammer. No, no, no. I, I, I have. I have. No, I know what the rust eater does. I'm gonna look. At I have a musket. I don't know what it does. Oh, the, a musket. Yeah. You shoot it. It's a gun. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm trying to reach <laughs> that. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to go feed my puppy dog and run to I'm the just, bathroom. I will I'm just imagining the hall is like holding it by the barrel and using it as a club. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're also holding, you're going to shoot it within five feet so you get disadvantage. Can I reckless attack with my gun? Uh, if no. if I mean, you wield it like a club. Uh, I don't yeah, see why you can't. It's melee attack roll. Yeah, it's I melee see. only. I see. Yeah, no, I'm... Yeah, you could make it an improvised weapon, which is 1d4 plus your strength. And just club it with a gun. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try to shoot it. Disadvantage be damned. Just... Yeah, he, he's just looking over as to how he's trying to shoot him with the barrel facing her. No, the <laughs> other way! It's a fucking <laughs> cone! How is it even... What? It's, a, it's, a, it's not even like a fucking... Oh, that's not the musket, that's a blunderbuss. Yeah. Yeah, you already used that. Oh. You can't use it again until oh. after this combat. Unless it's double-barreled. But I don't yeah. think it is. It says twin barrel. Oh, oh then right. it is. Yeah, you got one yeah, shot left. <laughs> I don't know how to even roll this one. Well, if you click the die. <laughs> okay. There you go. I'm not really in the mood for a lot of sass right now. I, I don't mean to be or anything. I'm I'm back. Like, I, I had a really shit day at work. Oh, yeah. Mm. So, I'm, I'm trying to aim this freaking cone. I got you. Don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's a cone. I, it is a very beautiful cone, and I'm glad you could make the beautiful cone. Um... Would so you like sparkly. to? Roll... Oh God! Would you like to roll damage? Because I'm, I'm just gonna say there's a good chance this thing does not. Kablamo. Um. Oh, it's up top. Why does he use the alternate variant of the sheet? Ooh. Okay. I'll suffer. Oh yeah, I was right. This thing's failing. All right. So let's see. That's going to be. If it has six armor, it should be eleven damage. Uh. Yes. I did a shoot. Oh God, you should have used this a long time ago. <laughs> I got hammers. I rage. I hit yeah, stuff. Yeah, but the storm room. Just use it once. Because look at its ability. Until the state ends, when you or another creature, 60 feet, make an attack roll, saving through our ability check, you can use your action to cause the roll to have advantage or disadvantage. Hold on. Yeah, basically is, you have... You for basically 10 rounds. <laughs> Basically, you have three silvery barbs for for ten rounds if you activate it as a bonus action. Wait, you... why ha why have I not been using this more often? Would you like? I to don't use know. It? I just, you don't know. No, I just I don't I just picked it no, up. No, not this no. combat. Say that for, for say it for the big thing. But... Well, it refreshes every short rest. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! It refreshes every yeah. short rest. <laughs> every long. Yeah. Oh yeah! Use it! Use it! Use it immediately! Okay. I'll use it. I'll use my storm rune. And thus, the first goal of the session has been complete. What was <laughs> for people to use their shit? I my entire goal for this session is one. I I wanted people to use resources they either haven't used before, or I just wanted people to use something creatively that is like a cool thing. And then I have a secret objective that I'm going to complete by the end of this. I swear to God, I will. Um. Also, oh no, we all retreat to go to the third level, ending the session. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> um, and to give you a heads up, Lex, um, since I am a different DM, of course I run stuff slightly differently than Hunter, um, <laughs> as Alice has already seen. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alice is enjoying it, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's neat. I'm really enjoying that. It. I would like to see those roles you keep doing secretly, but <laughs> it's, it's fun that you're doing them secretly. Um, it's I'm nothing learning. impressive. It's interesting um, I will. You guys have full permission to view the vod afterwards to like just look no, at things. No, it's all good. Don't worry. Oh no, I fully encourage you to go to my channel and just go look at it because uh, there there are so many things, so many facial reactions that like would have ruined things if yeah. But don't worry about it. Anyways, um, the next person, since it's in closeness, uh, mage, mage. Uh, little, you know what, little Sebastian here is gonna cast his favorite spell, Magic Missile! Uh, you know what, he, he heard how bad you guys hate this thing, he'll use it as a third level spell slot. Jesus. Wait, hold on, how is that gonna interact with armor? Oh, don't use any third level spells. He'll do it as a second level. We need to save his third level spells. Third level spells are important. No, second level. <laughs> okay. I'll take your word for it. Let me uh, replenish it. Third fireball. level is how he gets to cast haste and fireball. No, he's casting it at second level. <laughs> okay, he's casting it at second level then. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you glad uh, I said I that out loud? <laughs> so I think it ignores the AP part. That is correct, it's because it damage. is force oh, damage. And force damage. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, I think armor only applies to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Physical attacks is how it's worded, but yes. Yeah. Um. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you guys decided to build all these attacks up. Uh, the scout... Oh, the scout! I was doing it in proximity. I should have done it the other way around. The scout is now going to mark this. I apologize, guys. I'll play the scout better next time. So that all attacks get bonus on it. I'm sorry, Nahali. I should... Actually, wait. That wouldn't have helped you anyways. Or the mage. No, it wouldn't have helped. So it's great that I did it with order. the scout just now, yeah, then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you did it in the perfect order. <laughs> I'm thinking three steps ahead, actually, guys, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I remain unconvinced. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rekma is going to use Thorn Whip on it. Uh, wait. Does he want to use Thorn Whip on it now? No. He wants to use Acid Splash. He might want to use Acid Splash. He wants to use Acid Splash, because he is uh, the equivalent of 5th level and will do 2d6 acid damage, which is nice. He'll use Acid Splash. Hell yeah. And then let's see if it makes or breaks. Am I bringing it over? Oh, it's in front of me. I'm an idiot. Okay. <sighs> Thank you for making me feel better. Uh, he fails that. Which means we roll this. Rekma's acid splash is broken! I'll fix that for him later. As that's an attack, that probably means it has advantage to hit, and... Ah, it's a save DC for Acid Splash. Ah, right, in that case, it doesn't... Does it, it trigger does... the scout thing, or not? It does not trigger the scout thing. Hell yeah. Minus... Then... Cassie would be next on that. Can't move and can't... Oh, do, does she get to move and do it? Hell yeah. Great. I mean, she didn't 
move and she was holding her yeah that's, nice. that's how i run it if he runs it yeah, differently, no, that's uh well <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah hell he yeah does it, so how he does it is you just attack that's it yeah if you have a held attack you can only attack you can't move and attack you have a held action, you can't move to do it. You just have the action. Okay. Interesting. It's interesting to hear these little differences. Okay. Yeah. But as you can tell, I'm a little more sneaky and uh, brutal with how the things come in at you guys. <laughs> but this is also or one, so it won't, don't worry about it. Uh, Cassie's going to do her attacks. Which is energy lacerate at advantage. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Does that... Count as... Did you ever have Cassie attack a rust monster? I, yes, it's an energy weapon. It yeah. doesn't count. It's an energy blade. Okay. She's attacking was, it with a lightsaber, yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> I was double checking <laughs> that. I had to like find yeah, something. No, it, I, yeah, I know. This was something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good it's thing. Like a to laser check. sword that she just emits. It's just a, if it, it was it, me attacking of... in melee, it's something laser. worth discussing. But uh, yeah. I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> oh, the blade's radiant. I missed that earlier. That's on me. Okay. Then she failed her attack roll. That's um, two hits, it looks like. So that's 2d8 radiant damage. Uh, what, if I were, what, if, what if I were to do the silvery barbs thing to keep the chain going? Well, you could. Here's the thing she when still has extra covered. attack after she fails this one, but it is a critical failure. I'm about to roll. I'm going to let anybody choose I... any 5% on a 1d100. Who would like to claim it? Uh, well, hey, what, what? On a d100? Any uh, 5%. First, Lexi was, doing, Lexi was doing the Storm Rune thing to actually mean that well, she didn't she's, do the she's doing her hyper slash thing or whatever it is. I don't remember. Uh, and, uh, character? Energy Lacerate. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. if... If I were to use my Stormer and Bennett reaction thing. Uh, would that give her? Yep. Causes yeah, the rolls just, have just advantage. It doesn't okay. cause a free roll, but I don't know if that, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just roll it a second time if you want to use it as me rolling that and then. Yeah. So if you want to use the Storm Rune to uh, give her advantage before she quote unquote fails the roll. Sure. <laughs> well, she didn't critically fail. Ah, <laughs> oh, but she still missed. Uh, yeah. Her extra attack okay. is going to proc. <clears throat> that one will hit. That one will not. Okay, so, and then that's another... Cool. And then Cassie is now out of attacks. And then Rafe, were you holding an action? Um Uh no, I've done all my stuff. Okay, so then I think the next person would be Fulgar in terms of that. Yeah. No, Fulgar threw the torch. He yep. didn't have any other held actions, I think, unless I'm misremembering. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I used my action to throw a torch. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, because we are. I thought we were on round three. Oh, man. Nope, we're, we're still on round two. Together. Fuck. Okay. So this was all as the Rust Monster emerged. So now the Rust Monster has emerged. Engineer. Oh, the engineer. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, engineer yes. Bonk him. Bonk. 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 Push him in the pit. Push That's him in the pit. That's what's about to happen. Oh, here's the problem. If he does that, he loses his ex. No, he doesn't. Oh, and in that case, the engineer lose... will not push him in the pit. 
The axe is how he does his knockback stuff, uh, Philip. Yeah. Yeah, but he has yeah. to lose it five times. Yeah, it's he not has just to... a one and done. Yeah. Because otherwise, then the five Hollywood times lost into the. Game. So what? You get like yeah, a five... minus yeah. one per. Yeah, you get one, and then it gets to thing. minus five. Yeah. Ah, it you dies. Then okay. it broke. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so I think. I think I think for finish of the coolness of knocking it into the pit as it emerges, we can sacrifice a minus one on this guy's axe. Is that what the group's gonna decide on universally? Sure. The fuck it, we ball mentality. Fuck it, we yeah, ball. Yeah, that was always coming to make this. Yeah. Blah. This is hot. Um, he's gonna get pushed back. This is now going to have a details. Do 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 do. Um, I can adjust it. I'll adjust it later. I'll just put a note for now to make it easy. Cool. And then. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this thing is now in the bottom of the pit. Um, it's now. Oh, she needs to stay there. It's now going to use the dash action to climb out of the pit. <laughs> and hey, end its up. turn. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's gonna move here. And... Is that 20? No, I can move one there. This poor fucking rust monster, all it's done is move. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, he's then going to, uh, shoot it. With a revolver. Alright. Alright. Hot. Cool. Even better. Is it dead yet? It's dead. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now we have a short rest. I guess I'll take watch if anyone needs to watch because uh, <laughs> I did absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I don't think we need to take watch according to Hunter Wolves. But... You're doing it as a. Gage is doing it as just in case because uh, I'm not Hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sensible. Sensible. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to do random encounters during these short rests, so you are lucky. Okay. I will refill my blunderbuss, which is apparently quite good, and I will be using it against rust monsters. <laughs> and also possibly just using it a lot, because that's a, fun a weird ability to have. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Uh, I pack up my barricades as well. Listen, I've been too busy right. thinking uh, about Mortal Kombat finishers. To... Your Mortal Kombat <laughs> finishers were great, admittedly. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. Mortal Kombat finisher was fantastic. But. <laughs> your blunderbuss is. Oh, wow, you could probably do even more nutty Mortal Kombat finishers with the blunderbuss as well. It's possible, it's possible. Like some real Jack stuff. If, if, if it. Yeah, just... uh, I'm gonna use my healing bullets to to bring me back up to full health. So I'm just gonna shoot myself real quick. <laughs> That's such an uncomfortable phrase, but okay, I understand. <laughs> uh, I regain 16 health. My uncle so also used oh. my uncle also used a healing bullet once. It healed, <laughs> it healed his depression. My only heals physical wounds, not mental. I'll I'll have to ask him how how that worked out. 
Right, well, you're going to need a lot of healing bullets for that one. Oh. It's, it's, uh, like, that makes sense. Depression is kind of hard to heal. I wonder how many would take. <laughs> On a better note! <laughs> there's the dark answer, there's the dark answer, <laughs> and, and a genuine attempt to calculate it. The, uh, the answer is... Uh, we could just ask the uncle. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it only took one there. Yeah. All right. Now, during the short rest, is anybody going to be doing any non-strenuous activities? Anything? No. Besides reloading uh, my stuff, no. No, I turn I turn off my lamp to preserve the oil. Okay. I gather up my torches. Great, great. Keep in mind, torches have eight hours of life, so you could just leave it on the ground. And yeah, we're not going to be back in this area, though, are we? We're going to be over in yeah, other gonna areas. Yeah, we're going to be over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The other ones will require us to be able to cross the lava, which we cannot do. Um, so... We can. So... I don't know about you guys, but I can. We all can. You can just jump. I, uh, I need to check the jumping rules. I might not have enough strength to. It's I'll not. It, uh, no, it's just uh, you're. If you're doing the standing jump, not moving, it's just you just go based on whatever thing. I, I'm still going to carry you across the gap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I can just carry you. Small jump. But how do we get the drill, the molly, and all the drilling equipment across? Is the molly will climb on the ceiling. ceiling. Yeah. Oh shit! You're right. Molly can just climb on the ceiling. Yeah. Okay, and the mage can fly. They've got wings. I can see it on their arm. Yeah. Cassie uh, can the make driller the could just drill through the wall to this path on the other side. Yeah. Which I believe is the intended route. Oh shit! That's I am a really good point. Not Dylan. Uh, give me two seconds. So, Philip, um, long jump is standing. Long jump is not your movement speed. Yeah, it is a number of feet up to your strength score. Yeah. Oh, if so you we, do a uh, running long jump, though. No, that's, that's long with, jump adds that's, ten that's feet. with it. Yeah. No, it's a number of feet up to your strength score if it's running. If it's not, it's half that. Oh. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So the maximum I could jump is 10 feet. Oh, I could jump 18. I, I will carry. Or, I'm sorry, not 18. Way. I could jump 8. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys want to take uh, some time to look around? How far can you jump to Harley? Like, what's your strength score? My strength is 20. Yeah, so that's so you 20. You can only jump 20 feet, and that jump is it's 20 feet. feet. Okay, so no, no, what no. we really need is Nahali needs to uh, continually jump back and forth, ferrying us across. How about I just throw She's these the... bugs instead? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are the only one who can make that jump. All of the rest of us are too feeble. I don't even have to jump. The guard drake jumps for him. No, not true. even that. The guard drake has a climb speed. He can just climb the ceiling. Oh, yeah, um, that's true. <laughs> yeah, well, the guard drake could just drag me across, too. Yeah, probably. So, Matron Flag, a real. So, can the drilling crew climb on Molly? And can. What is. Is Cassie can only jump 14 feet. Cassie's for one where it's going to be hey, difficult. Hey, uh, where's the hole that that giant rust bug drilled through the whole rock? Right here? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. We should we should be able to crawl through that. Can we? Um, It's freaking mm, bigger than us. <laughs> it had to move its whole torso through. It's big enough for the kobolds to move through. Nahali might be a little too big. Rafe is about okay size, but there's no way to get Molly through. Yeah. Molly climbs along the ceiling. Isn't Rafe as small as the kobolds? Yeah, no, I can get through, but the human, the dwarves can't get through, and Nahali can't mm. get through, so, and Cassie Why can't get through. The Wait, 
The Cassie, are like as tall as Cassie ba- Could Cassie in basket mode roll through? Because she's very compressed in basket mode. I think, She'd be able to, uh, yes. In the I... description that Hunter gave, I think the basket was like three feet tall. Yeah. The basket would be able to make it through then. Okay, great. In that case, we have a way for everyone but the drilling team to get across. Well, well, aren't how tall are the dwarves? Dwarves are about four and a half feet. Could they make it? Um, yeah, but they'd have to leave Molly behind. Molly well, no, can climb on the ceiling. The ceiling. Molly can climb round, and Nihali can jump the gap here. So we can all make it. Yeah. Okay, great. We have a route. Okay, I feel like we also did discuss for a brief moment whether the running jump rules, which which may have allowed us to. No, because the, the I thought it was but the che- rest of us can't. We, you would have to oh. ferry all of us back and forth over and over. We again. checked the rules. Uh, with a running start, you could jump a number of feet equal to your strength score. Given that the gap is twenty feet wide, the only one capable of making that jump is you. That's crazy. Do we want to oh, take I'm care not... of the ore that's right here before we start yeah, jumping yeah, over? No, we did, yeah, we do the ore on this right. side Go first, over. but we wanted to check that we could make it over. As well, during this time, I'm going to look through my adventurer's book, if that's all right, and see if I can spot anything that could be handy. Um. Spot anything? After a while, um, a general consensus you come across after looking for some of the specific bugs you've seen. Uh, no, the Adventurer's Logbook is a specific magic item that lets me pull things into reality from it. It's very weird, and I wasn't aware that that was how it worked. Oh, 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 let me look at the (laughs) item. Uh... I don't know if I have the item on me because my character sheet is a mess of what items I have access to or not, but apparently I do I do have access to it uh, because it was mentioned as a thing which I have access to. The Adventurer's Picture Book, that's it. Uh, hold on, let me link you to the discussion I had with Hunter about it. Huge. It, it was in the Shade Spoilers chat, so you should have access. There we go, I put it in the Cool General chat. So I am spending a charge to look through the book. Oh my god, why does he do this to me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a bookmarked page? No. Hence why I am spending a charge to look through the book, because I don't I have will, anything bookmarked. I will be back in just a moment. Okay. Okay. Alright, if that is the case, claim any 5% in a 1v100. The closer you get to your 5%, the better. Okay. Let's go with 40 to 45. The page you open it up to is a page with a 30 foot ladder. You know, this would have been handy for crossing the lava if we hadn't already worked out that, uh, that method of crossing <laughs> it, but... No, you have an alternate method. <sighs> okay, that's good, I guess, and I'll put the book away for now. Alright. Do you want to bookmark that page, or...? Oh, no, I will bookmark it. I will bookmark that page. Sorry, I said... I thought that would be... yeah. Thank you for reminding me that I hadn't officially said that. I will bookmark <laughs> that page. 
That was close. So thank you. Dylan will get you on that. I will. He will. That's why when I said earlier, oh, he'll he'll go for the for the funny guy. I'm like, no, 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 not the funny guy. The 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 you know the rust eater. That that guy. Not just any funny guy. So this uh, little circle I drew here is a torch I'm putting down, Dylan. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to wait till you were done with stuff before I mentioned it. Uh, I see. Uh, I'm, I'm putting these down to indicate where I put the uh, the barricades. That's what I was about to ask. I assume those are supposed to be the two good ones up there? Yeah, and then the damaged one down here. <laughs> I just remembered. I have spears. And I will save the other healthy one for some other day. Okay. Spears. Yeah, you got all those fucking weird spears. Yeah, I collect magical spears. Alright. Oh man, you guys are really trying to block yourselves in, huh? Oh, you got one more barrier, Rafe. Would you like to deploy it? Nope. That one is being saved. <laughs> I would, I would get rid of one of these. Yeah, I was just looking at this. I thought I'd get rid of this one. Hold yeah, on, what if we can't hit anything? What if we I... put Nahali back down here, and we have ranged people on platforms behind the barricades? What, what I think platforms? no. I think just get. I think just get rid of this part. This one. Oh. Get rid of this one. Gage, does your yeah. uh, guard Drake have an initiative, or does it like react when you tell it to react? Kind of deal. Uh, well, technically speaking, it does have its own initiative, but since I am almost cons I am almost constantly mounted on it, it just takes my turn with me. Okay. You're on top of your mount, I assume, because, uh... Well, yep. Okay, that's good, because all I can see is your mount. <laughs> oh. All I can see, well, actually, I can see the mount underneath me, but right. I am on top on my screen. Everybody pretend that Fulgar is not actually one feet above. This is now, my... How tall is my guard, Drake? Okay. Oh, he as tall as you? I think it's actually Mahali, bigger than me. Mage, Engineer, Cassie, Hugh, Scout, Thriller, Rafe, Fulgar. Cool. That's everybody for your guys' team. Do you guys want to rearrange just... how you guys are set yeah, up? Yeah, right we now? might need to move around a bit. How do we want to set up? Um, question. So where this is a lip coming up over where Nahali is standing, but we have the engineer here, and if he bonks stuff, would it fly the extra five feet into the lava? Um, that's less of a ledge, more of a set of steps. Ah. Uh, Never mind then. That's not high enough of a difference. Uh, I say the engineer should be here. The, the spot, because then you can, if something gets past Nahali, you can just bonk it into the pit. Or bonk it back down the steps. Um, probably have Fulgar sitting here. At this block. Um... Where else? Well, where does Hugh want to stand? Um, Hugh I guess probably he wants stand to stand here. where he can shoot a lot of stuff. Yeah, probably like there, I guess. Because I can shoot I... out that way if they come through the wall, and I can shoot down this way. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, Cassie had maybe moved down a bit here-ish. Yeah, that's okay. Cassie here. Well, I wouldn't put anyone right up against this wall. Because yeah, you know they're going to come through there. So if anything, yeah. I'd place Cassie like here. Yeah, no, that's a much better. She problem. can just move up and down or and, give and a I will then, guard. And if I'm then there, then that's good. Okay. I would like oh. to state that I have purposefully specialized in a defensive thing so that anyone near me is reasonably well protected. How do how how far what's the range of your enlarge, by the way, Volker? Uh, I want to say it's feet. touch. No, it is thirty feet. Okay. Oh yeah, so just put down the driller right before he starts a drilling. He's gonna look back on this and he's either gonna be really happy or be like, wait. Oh, obviously. Um I still feel like we're in too small an area. <gasps> he's trying to oh, steal my there gimmicks! Really... There there ain't a whole lot we can do about that unless you want people to hang out, you know, on the lava yeah. ledge. Yeah, or I don't know the, about the mm, over I don't here. Know. It's still waiting for Lexi to come back, and I think that like where Nahali is positioned is important as well. I don't know. Well, yeah, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. Yeah. Unless you literally want someone down here on the ledge. No, I think that this is a this is good. Uh, do you guys want the mage to just vibe with the NG behind the Molly and everything? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's a good place. Yeah. Uh, and then you're just keeping two uh, barriers undeployed, correct? Yeah. Damaged one down there, yep. healthy one up there. Perfect. You know what? I'll spend a cow drop. Uh... What is it? Here. <laughs> You want to try that again? <laughs> Honestly, that's a good place to put it. It does oh. technically cover both squares. Both yep. squares. Go for it. Uh, I'm not even going to argue. <laughs> the game's trying to help you out. It's telling you you guys need it. Hmm. I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be right back. I love this spot. Yeah. I return. Well, welcome back. Hey. Uh, what about we'd... this? Not much, just set up. Uh, do you want to position further north, or where you are is fine, or oh, okay about what? I, I, will, I will be a wall. Wall time. We are going to build a wall. I better roll the things I want to roll here. That's that's what this boils down to. Yeah, I'm guessing you want like things that can borrow through this wall and Praetorians. I just want to use one Praetorian. Oh. That's it. Like <laughs> worst no, case no, scenario. It for you. Why? Because it does I'm <laughs> six damage. It's. <laughs> 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 yeah, Philip, is there a reason you don't want me to have 66 damage on a creature that can burrow and climb? Oh, I don't know. You know, just a hunch. You know, acid spray coming from a three-dimensional uh, aspect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely don't want that. 
<laughs> it's not like I'm wise to your tricks by now or anything. <laughs> Oh, there was me, Gage, and Philip were talking, um, I think it was like last week or the week before. We made a joke that you're not a veteran player until you survive my campaigns. Cause... <laughs> so keep in mind, there was a time when Dylan was obsessed with pit traps. As oh, in no. pit traps every 10 feet, and there was no way to see them. So that caused the entire player group for quite a while. <laughs> To carry a, a ten foot stick <laughs> whenever we were anywhere, so that's how we could just tap the ground in front of us like a bunch of blind people to set off pit traps. He then got wise to this and decided instead of a pit trap, he was going to use a giant rolling boulder. <laughs> this, guess is what why, happened? this is why clever an Petri Indiana was... Jones boulder and the Indiana Jones boulder uh, killed everyone, <sighs> literally yeah. everyone. Because there was no way to step out of the way. Never mind. Oh, oh my god, when I had to implement the rocket trap for the Smurf gnome fucking rogue yes. and, the, and the Time Lord <laughs> fucking... <laughs> oh god. <Yes. laughs> what on earth is going on? This Don't is when I let homebrew oh. be a thing. <laughs> yeah. I created an abomination and rocket death was the best way. Rocket death was the only no. way. <laughs> Essentially, I created a slime folk temptress, which, as a character concept on its own, is terrible. But then, factor in the fact that, uh, like, her abilities were all grapple based, and she had, like, different poisons that she could use via grapple, and yeah, I had quadruple like advantage on grappling. grappling. Quadruple advantage on grappling. Okay, we had fantastic. to literally bring out the the rules, like from Fairy Up Parents, the rules book about grappling <laughs> and shoving and all that shit because of him. Because none of us used it in forever. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, because I was a slime folk, they have an ability oh, where if you <laughs> if you uh. If you drink X amount of water, you can grow to a size bigger. Oh no. Oh no, and it's I had fucking a decanter right. of endless water. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, I grew God. to colossal sizes and just started grabbing people. Only in combat. Then he would expel all the water for funsies and just create small <laughs> lakes in random places. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, and no. then there was yeah, the trickling. Not the no. What was Micah's character's name? The Quickling, the Smurf. What was it? I... Oh, it was, it was like Z Zoro, Zu. It started with a Z. All, his all characters his characters started, started with a Z. Z. Was it yeah. Zeri? Because that one was female. I think it was Zeri, because his original yeah. character died, and then he brought the exact <laughs> same character, but female, and you know. No, no, no. Yeah. That was that was one of his actual like creative characters. It wasn't just the carbon copy uh, goblin oh, it was sorcerer. That's my... Yeah, yeah Zorozu was the freaking <laughs> clone of ten thousand. Yeah, <laughs> but who suspiciously get... all had the same spell list and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but. Let's get back to this game. Does anybody want to change anything? Does anybody want to drop anything else before the combat? Uh, can I summon Dor? No, I refuse. <laughs> Hold on, I, I I want to make sure that my 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 wow, I'm tired. Yeah, take your time. Take a <laughs> second and like think. You're Where good. is it? Gun. This is the gun loaded. Gun. Yes, you did. Yes, yeah, it, it automatically reloads, reloads on a short rest. rest. Dope. <laughs> I didn't like manually click the short rest thing, so I wasn't certain. Yeah, ah. I did hear you say it out loud, though. Okay, cool. All right, are you guys ready? I'm ready to shreddy. <clears throat> I'm ready to die. Have been since birth. <laughs> this is the beginning of the end. Promise. Ah. 
I got the things I wanted. Oh no. Oh, oh, boy. oh no! It's the pulling things! They're gonna pull you into the lava! No. But They're gonna try. Give him that idea. No. Actually, no. That was already the He's idea. Doing... Me and Hunter thoroughly yeah. discussed that. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. Maybe I should Don't be worry. on there then, because I'm resisting. Don't worry, I have, I have a swim speed. I have swim speed, this will be fine. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one, Chief, but okay. I don't think you can swim in lava. I think you could probably just walk on it if it didn't murder you. <laughs> uh, no, but the Praetorians from the third dimension. Oh, no. Because we're on a three-dimensional plane. Uh, with an X, Y, and Z axis. Wow. <laughs> Dylan. Yeah. I would like to start this combat on the ceiling. <laughs> I asked you before I said we're beginning, and yeah. what did you say? I can't Just out of curiosity, now. how how tall is this cavern? This this guy's is why most of my rules exist, is because of him. I don't usually think of good stuff until it's too late. It's sad. <laughs> All right. On that note, um, seriously, like, how how tall is this cavern? Seven. Uh, thirty feet tall. All right, cool. I can get up there in one turn. Are you on Dragonback? Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Eh, that's not a bad roll for me. It is unfortunate that two of the bugs go. I oh, not one of the. Are there only two yeah, types of Yankers bugs this time? Do... Yeah, the Yank. Yeah, the Yankers are going first. Oh no! <laughs> Cassie goes first. <laughs> Cassie doesn't see anything. Oh no, she sees a couple Yankers, but sees yeah, the Caltrops uh... in the way as well. Quite the They're so yeah. tiny. It's fine. Just hold the action to schwack when they come through. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Cassie will do exactly that. It's the Yanker's turn. Uh, hold strong, Nahali. Nahali, I'm oh. sorry. Okay. I <laughs> yeah, I should have started on that side. My bad. I didn't even think about the lava. I'm resistant to fire. I should have started on that side. It's okay. That doesn't... Okay. okay. Uh, doesn't it doesn't help with lava. That doesn't matter. Yeah. Nahali? Yep. You have five attacks at advantage coming at you. At advantage? At yeah, advantage. Tactics. Doesn't pack tactics make it so that one of them... You have to be near me for pack tactics to be worthwhile. It's not, it's not when an ally is nearby. It's... Yeah, yeah. but the anchors yeah. also when, have two, to be... When two of you are adjacent yeah. to an enemy. If Kuthric has advantage... Uh, the Kuthric has advantage on the attack roll against Kuthric. Yanker. The Yanker has an attack roll against a creature if at least one, uh, Yanker ally is within five feet of it and oh, the ally great. is incapacitated. Ah. Pack Tactics has <laughs> nothing to do with being in melee range. You know, but their Yanking ability is in melee range. It is? Oh, it yes. is a weapon That's attack. Wait years. a minute. Yeah. It's a melee attack, because they literally grab you and drag you. Okay, I understand. Yeah, yeah they can't just grab you from all I the thought it was. I thought it was a different no. tongue. I didn't realize it was no. these ones. I thought it was kind of like a chameleon tongue thing. Buzz buzz, oh, no, no. Oh. Buzz buzz. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Alright. Five attacks at advantage. What is your AC? Not very high. <laughs> uh, 14. I'm mostly relying on um, tanking damage. Okay, well, armor the first attack is going to hit a uh, okay. constitution saving throw. Uh, it is going to be 7 damage before your AP and everything. So, no damage. Oh, zero damage. <laughs> 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 Alright, uh, DC 12, constitution saving throw. 
<laughs> All right. Oh. Holly actually pulls the bug closer to her. Uh, that second that second attack, by the way, I'm casting Silvery Bobs on. Uh, please post the spell so I can remember. Not a lot of people use this spell. Yeah, one moment. <laughs> they don't? In which campaigns? Uh, all of mine. The only person so, uh, I think who's ever used it is Philip, really. Silvery Barbs came out in Tasha's, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so like 80% of the games we've had with Dylan were before Tasha's existed. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and then the reason I used it was because I was like, ooh, that's neat. So does like, this I literally just played cancel an advantage? The first time. Uh, basically, it gives the... It, but no, they There's technically... A <laughs> It, it gives disadvantage, disadvantage but to the attack. That it is disadvantage. Yeah, it gives disadvantage to their attack roll. So I roll so a normal roll. You choose... Yeah. Or you choose yeah. the lower of the two. Yeah. If Basically, you already it roll. gives them disadvantage on the attack. Um, uh, okay. advantage or something else. Not one of your buddies. So. Advantage. Um. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Because I literally had just rolled it before you casted Silvery Barbs, so I'm just going to avoid that one, and then I will re-roll it with the Silvery Barbs. Okay, okay. It, it's because it's done in response to the attack is, is why it's, like, it's weird to tell when you need to do the rolling. Yeah. Yeah. So I should Sorry. declare the attack first, and then you... Oh, no, I don't want to do magic stacking. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... Um, I count a spell. <laughs> that's kind of what happens here, so... In a response, I cast norm. a swan song and turn one of them into a swan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Nahali, Pong you are Pong taking five. seven damage, which eight. is actually zero damage. Oh, so it did still hit? Uh, it did still hit. And, yep. uh, okay, Const Nahali, you get advantage on your next saving throw. Constitution yeah, saving throw, hard. please. Yay, it all works <laughs> out! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> <laughs> these things are just, like, trying to tug on me, and I'm just watching amusedly as, like, these it's size... Like, no. Size what? Small, tiny creatures are just trying to fucking yoink me around? Like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, you go, girl. Third attack at advantage. Dealing five damage, which is actually zero. <laughs> DC Constitution saving throw. DC 12 Constitution. I always say it. I never. Oh, oh. <laughs> that one was that really was close. Almost <laughs> <fail. laughs> As long as you don't roll below a four, you're okay. Yeah. Fourth. You have an 85% chance of success. Oh, now that you've said that, though. The fourth attack was a Oh, miss. wait a minute. Didn't Fulgar... Yeah! Cast... Woo! Didn't Fulgar cast him large on Mr. Driller Man? Yes. Okay. Yep, I need to actually... Fifth attack will hit. I said I did it, but I never got rid of the spell slot. For zero so. damage, please roll your there DC 12 constitution saving throw. A moment, please. Un momento, por favor. No. <laughs> oh! As you're getting so yanked man. in all five different directions, taking none of... no damage, you can feel them kind of biting into your skin, almost ready to pierce it. But it seems they want to drag you out of the way more than anything else. I have a question. If the Holly just walks, are all are did she just like take all of them with her now? Uh no, she gets five attacks of opportunity. Oof. Which also have the opportunity to pull her. Nahali, you have to stay very still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you realized that. Um, it's the other Yanker's turn. Is this is this is still only the second bat of like three battle maps, right? Yeah. Yes, and you guys are only on the second ore. Yeah. Yep. Because this, if this wasn't, this would be such a funny time to use my fucking divinity, and then just start <laughs> eating these fuckers into the lava with the ten foot push on all my attacks. Yeah. Hey, Dylan. Engage. 
Dex saving throws. They're flying. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gage didn't think. Think, Gage, think. They have they wings. They were over lava. And they have wings. I was wondering about that. I kind of just assumed they crawled across the ceiling. <laughs> uh, they are using their dash actions to get over and around the barrier to start coming towards there. Uh, the two in front of Fulgar, one is going to try and drag your pet, one is going to try and drag you. Huh, fun fact, I don't let them. They both target me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think. Also, Cassie had the he uh, held action to attack people but got near her, so does that go yeah. off? Uh, yes, let me resolve the attacks against Gage first, and then I will resolve Cassie's. Because okay. those ones can't do anything because they dashed. Um, okay. Are you ready, Gage? Are you ready? What's your AC? 19. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Second attack. Come on. Yeah, buddy! You're taking four. Aw, how sad. DC 12 constitution saving throw. Oh. <laughs> it had to be a war. Do you want to use the universe to bond to Helen? Ah, last chance. My inspiration is a three, so you know what? I'm gonna use my three on their attack. <laughs> they um, miss. So. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that, Chief. We're already past no, the result already... of enough damage and everything. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're already at the damage has been dealt and rolling Ooh. for constitution saving. Yeah, that's, that's like two things ago. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my inspiration's a three. That's not going to help. Does anybody else want to use inspiration for full guy? I have I have a crit bank that I'm saving for a glory. I also game. have a crit bank. I'm sorry, I'm suffer. Uh, Okay, right. you can only be moved 15 feet, and I don't think that's necessary. Like, at worst, you're going to get dragged through the caltrops, which is going to suck. But it's not you stop saying not, all not my really. plans, Alice? Like... <laughs> hey, come on! <laughs> like, it's an environmental... It's the only environmental hazard nearby. Unless you want to rely on, like, a chain of Yankers chain pulling him over to that spike pit or into the lava. <laughs> it's the only thing nearby you can drag him through. So, of course, you're going to kill <laughs> Like, that's the worst thing that can happen, but even then, it won't necessarily do much damage, and it yeah, doesn't. I think it's fine. There's a one damage if you fail the deck save. Yeah. So, you, you're not- so you're gonna be fine, Falgar. Take one damage. Yeah. All right. And your walking speed gets reduced by ten feet, feet uh, until you heal. Until you that's get it. Hew! So, uh, am I making the deck save? Like, yes. I don't. Okay. Let's take God, one. You take a single point of damage. Uh, and until you regain at least one hit hit point, your yeah. movement speed is reduced by ten. And they actually don't drag him that far. They only drag him into the cow drops, though, because he. Oh, does it moving. stop his movement? Yeah, it stops. Oh, it does. Okay. Eh, it's not like I use my own movement speed anyways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and then what about Cassie's thing? Both schwacking. Correct. She's going to start with the one on the top, because that's the one I feel like starting with. Get over it. Um. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, 18 to hit. Yes. Uh, Cassie's going to get a What about Blade Dance, which does an AoE attack against everyone next to her? Does that... That is not a consumable. What? Oh, because the quantity she is the weapon itself. She just gets to do it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um. She just gets to do it. They all need to make up a DC 14 deck save or take 3d6 damage. <laughs> um. I like that option. Then that makes she... sense because there's more than one. Yeah, she'll she'll use that. Can't say. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
Dylan quietly searching for a reason to not do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about all of them passing? Dang! Oh, wow! Do they what still take half damage, or does it just do nope, nothing? nothing? It just does nothing. Ooh. Nope. So yeah, that was literally the only reason I was thinking of. But uh, in terms of Cassie doing it, no, literally she wouldn't have done it otherwise. <sighs> Hindsight's twenty twenty. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, well, you. Let's... Okay, uh, I'm gonna step to the left. So I can see a little better. The Yankers up by Nahali, and then I'm gonna shoot at them. Which one are you shooting at first? Uh, let's go with the one on the left, hovering over the barricade. Cool. All you gotta do is um, hit it. Come on. I'm gonna use my revolver. Cool. But just out of curiosity, what would have happened oh, if... Oh, it's dead. Of course, I get a nat 20. Here, I want to roll crit damage on this thing. And Bang. then re-roll the d12. Because why not? Because <laughs> I can do that. You guys... <laughs> so, do it. you aim down slightly, <laughs> you realize this thing is literally just, like, sitting there looking at you, begging for death. And you kind of just John Wick flip the pistol and then pow right between the bug's eyes. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Nahali is All now right, kind of covered hey, in bug guts. Hey, you cured its depression. Nahali <laughs> 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 spends most combats covered in various blood substances. It's alright. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then Dread Ambusher, so I get to attack again. Right, uh, right I'm going to shoot that one. Do it. Do it, come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, that's the wrong revolver. <laughs> it's okay. It's yeah. It's dead. And then come I'm gonna on, use, Bart, uh, use the fee. I'm gonna use my regular attack action to uh I guess shoot that one. Go ahead. Isn't your arm a flamethrower now? It's dead. Okay. And that's my three attacks. Um, can I do anything else? You Interesting. Can, you have like 10 feet of movement, or 25, something like that. Yeah. Um, 35, I, I think. I feel like Mahali can deal with two, those two yankers up there on her turn. Yeah. Red ambush um, gives you an extra 10 feet of movement. It does. Okay. So yeah, you uh, have so a lot of movement. I do have a lot of movement. And I don't like the Yankers in that I am within 15 feet of the pit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to move in a way I can't do that anymore. Yeah, that works. Uh, I'm going to move here. Alright. Is that all? Uh, yes. It's the engineer's turn. He's looking around. What do you want me to do, bosses? Hit him. Hit him um, with <laughs> can he... Wait, no, the Yanker's are flying. Forward, five could, feet and bonk. Theoretically, could he throw the Yanker in the spike pit? I don't think no, so. No, it is not the back. It's too feet far. Of... It is not uh, yeah, back. It's not we can hack into the lava, though. That's it. No, but it's flying. There's a cliff. It would just knock them back off, and then it would fly up. Correct. Don't worry. Don't I'll... worry. I'll dive bomb it into the lava. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Holly. No, no. Don't do that. So I, I, I will argue. say to the engineer, yeah, wait for something bigger. You can knock into that pit. I.e., wait for something to bur burrow through the wall, and when it does, he knocks it into the pit. There we go. Got it, boss. I would. I would argue that if you knock the the, where those fly things are so tiny that being schwacked by a giant freaking axe that knocks you back 10 feet would make it land. I mean, Even ever so briefly. It also would Into probably die before it hits the lava, so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> but then we get to smotes, and I got to canonically say they taste like lobster or crap, so. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get your opportunity. There's plenty Dang. more ores. I was planning on barbecuing those three next to Cassie anyways. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, if that's the case, Fulgar. All right. Ten feet of movement to get to the Drake. Five feet of movement to mount him. Wait, did you cross the Caltrops again? Oh wait, no, you. I was right. already. Yeah, I was already in the Caltrops. Yeah. All right. That reminds Nine, me of my favorite four. historical story about Caltrops, actually. So during the Hundred Years' War, there was an English knight who stood on a Caltrop, and it went right away f the spike on it went right away through his foot, because famously, English knights didn't wear the foot armor, because they felt it slowed for a, like, interfered with their mobility too much. So he stood on it, and it went right through his foot, so he ended up standing there on the field of battle with a Caltrop through his foot, so he couldn't fucking move. Um... So he stood there, and casually he killed, I believe, um, 22-ish people, because plate armor was just so impossible to deal with that he just got to stand there, unable to move, but basically invincible and kill everyone. So it was a real Nihali moment. Yeah, Him yeah, yeah. dying of infection afterwards was less of a Nihali moment, but... Wait, why am I even bothering rolling? Because you just... Do you do half, or do they save? I think I do half. And, uh, on a failed... Half and, of, and yeah, they just died. I don't yeah. know why I'm bothering to roll. Yeah, I barbecued three of them. <laughs> Congratulations, oh, there's your chance. Alright, uh, do you want to get rid of that cone? I, I don't really... I, I don't know how. I can't select... Oh, wait, I can select it. Okay, Too there late. we go. <laughs> Alright, and then... I stabbed the one next to me. Once my character sheet stops doing weird stuff. Okay, there we go. Okay, roll the attack. You hit, roll damage. 24 to hit. Actually. Does damage matter? It only has one HP. N no, I don't believe damage matters then. Alright. Woohoo! And I gain 11 temp HP! Because magic spears. Alright. Oh, does that heal you? Does that count as healing you to heal the Caltrop stuff? No. no, it is temp HP. Okay. Um, secondly, remember that the driller is enlarged. enlarged. Yeah, I was literally doing yeah. that as you were about to say something. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. Big chungus. <laughs> The tallest dwarf ever. <laughs> oh, it's oh, done. And... Oh, he's done. Oh, let's oh. finish killing these guys. <laughs> well, I, my turn wasn't quite done yet. Um, I was just going to bonus action brace my spear against this guy. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Come and get me, a stupid bug. <laughs> Uh, to answer your question, they have not dealt with the lava yet, and unfortunately I am trying, uh, I tried. That's the important part. Uh, Nahali. <laughs> Yo. It's your turn. Yay. Wait, am I recklessing? I kind of want to shoot my gun. Oh, <laughs> I mean, there's two bugs in front oh of you. Oh my god, you, can shoot you your gun. seduced by the power of the gun. <laughs> <laughs> gun. It says it has no available uses for mating. Oh, uh, you so reloaded it, it, so it should have two. It, it, yeah, when did I, you click when the, uh, yeah. did you... Did you actually refill them? I didn't actually refill them, I don't know how. I got you. Okay, uh, so... You fix the short I rest and it should auto-refill. Okay. Yes, you can do that, or... If you click inventory and you actually hover over it in it, you'll see, like, the charge number. Or it says two of whatever. Out of two, Zero you just change two. that to two. Or however many charges it has. How many shots? It says two out of two. Someone got it for me. Thank you, whoever got it for me. I got you, girl. All right. Like that, like that, but different. How do uh, I change the tone? I got you. So if you go to the two. measurement controls and then like your token, if you hold shift and uh, select. Oh, I see. Yeah. Something like that. So you're hitting both of them. Yes. Ah, okay. Cha-cha-cha. Uh, ha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Um, yes. 
Yes. Let me roll their saving throws. Scooby da do da do do da. One of them saved. Would you like to roll damage for the other? Yeah. Oh, is there actually things over there that aren't gonna instantly die? No. I just... <laughs> I'm sure oh. Nahali wanted to see the damage on it. <laughs> yeah, I will... I will use my bonus action to do the storm thingy. Cool. Oh, Rafe! Um... Mm, I should pro hold on. Who else is going after me? Scout and the mage. Once the adults show up, the mage is probably going to have to. Mm, okay. Uh, gang, could I get your opinion? Should I spend my action dealing with the last Yanka before it can conveniently pu pu pull Mahali into the lava? Will it pull or me into the lava? Or should I save? I mean, it might. And honestly, that chance is something I don't want to risk. Um, um, should I save my action for when the, action, the other dangerous bugs show up? Do blunderbusses? Do they deal half damage when you uh, when they pass? No, no, no they don't. No. Okay. So should I use my action to get rid of this fucking goober, or not? I'd wait. I think the adults are more of a threat. I mean, Nahali has to, like, roll horribly to be pulled by that uh, thing. Okay, I will, I, I will wait. Uh, but, I'll set but I will tell the mage to hit it with a firebolt on th their turn. Uh, I will hold my, ac my cannon arm action to shoot the bug which emerges furthest from me. Okay. Fireball or firebolt, I want to clarify. Bolt. Bolt. Firebolt. Okay. Bolt. Bolt. <laughs> I need to clarify. Bolt. <laughs> On that note, um, is that all, Rafe? Yeah, I'm holding my action to shoot. Fireball. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm holding my action to shoot the first bug that uh, pokes its head through the wall. What? The furthest from I can't, me. I can't click it. I got you. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Mm, because you guys are a little too smart for your own good. Oh, yeah, I want to hear that, though. We still have three more. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear your shit. So, ideally, I'd want to shoot this one. Correct. Do I do it with disadvantage given the two buddies slobbering near me? Yes. I figured I would. Oh boy, here it goes. <laughs> Jesus! Hey, Alright. <sighs> Double 19. Okay, never mind. I'll shut up now. <laughs> So you see, all it needed, bugs... all I needed was, all I needed was rebalancing of the way. It was never cursed. <laughs> As the bugs emerge, they scare you into shooting your cannon arm perfectly at this thing. Scared? No, no, no. Like she was lining up for distant. She doesn't even notice the ones next to her until she's until her arms recombined around the cannon, and then she looks, <laughs> looks straight at the end, and is like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it don't on you nerd. <laughs> <laughs> um, the engineer also saved a reaction so he could do this and then smack the one that's next to you, Rafe. This one's into the pit. Into the pit. Yes. Into the pit. Yes, into the pit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the bonkening. <laughs> okay. So, would somebody like to choose any 5%? In a 1D100? Yeah, maybe. 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 
Fuck. Okay, mm. someone else choose the five percent I chose last time. Fifteen. Fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to yep. what? Okay. Dylan knows me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I going in the pit? I'm going in the fucking pit, aren't I? I'll just move myself there. <laughs> <laughs> Heads or tails, Reef? <laughs> uh, tails. <laughs> okay. The scout. Gets hit by the axe because he overswung, and gets knocked ten feet into the big driller dwarf, who doesn't even feel it because he's currently <laughs> huge. <laughs> what? I dropped my sandwich. And he takes no damage. Damn it, Scout! You steal my sandwich again. <laughs> sandwich make me strong. No, I stole your croissant. <laughs> What? <laughs> I can't. I hope oh. it's not one of those Asian pastries. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it is, it's made of the rice flour. <laughs> Alright, the adult is about to attack uh, Cassie twice. Oh, if I was five feet uh, closer. Cool. Uh, the first the uh, second attack, given that you just rolled the first one, I sell three bobs. You're awesome for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it took me a moment. <laughs> wow. Okay. Why is it that I'm rolling shit for the dwarves? Okay. Uh, is that a she... crit? I feel like that's a crit. That's not a crit. She is taking both attacks, though. Oof. Damn. Uh, I give. Um... I give Nahal the advantage on her next saving throw. Attack roll or save, ability check or saving throw. Does she? She doesn't. Oh, she is kind of squishy in that regard, huh? Mm. Yeah. Pashi C is a rogue, basically. Oh, 12 damage. Okay, that's not great. Alright. And then the one in front of Rafe is about to attack Rafe, imagine. Uh, surprising. Uh, AC, please. Uh, my AC is 14, Not which high is enough. really shit, so I'm guessing <laughs> I'm hit at least twice. You would be correct. For 7 and 8. Oof, I go to 45 HP. And then the engineer is about to get attacked. Engineer, no! The engineer is about to not be Enja here. <laughs> oh, I lied to you. He's fine. <laughs> Wait, are is he? No, I thought... No? Really? Huh. What okay. is going on? I was just double checking to make sure on? that they didn't have bypass. They do not have bypass. Okay. So yeah, no, he's fine. He takes two attacks and is fine. Oh, he's just got the armor for it then, yeah. I guess. Okay. It's the scout's turn. Wait a minute, did the mage do its firebolt? No, he did not. Thank you for reminding me. Go ahead, little buddy. Do your fireball? You Does he count as a? He does do not it. count as a five. Not yet. He's really close. I'm leaving you, little dude. Oh, little dudes. Okay. Um. He's gonna shoot the one that popped out in front of Rafe. It's you. you got this, little dude. Hey, is this the mage? No, it's the scout. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about the mage for a moment, so I did the... But, uh, yeah, the scout is, uh, about to happen. So, the scout... Who's he gonna mark? I, they're all about the same. He's gonna mark the one in front of the engineer. 
Nice. It just gives you advantage when you attack it, right? See. Advantage and ignore armor. Advantage and you ignore its armor. Oh, oh that's handy. Yeah. But it's only on the first attack against it. Correct. Yeah. Oh, the mage would have done its fireball when it at the end, because the mage is the last anyways, so yeah. Yeah, but the mage is going to move up here and firebolt the anchor, like I asked him to. Yeah. Which the anchor. The anchor. the anchor. Oh, Yanker, not Anchor. <laughs> the Yank. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> it's okay. The don't dweller worry within about New York it. City. <laughs> like. It's the accent for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um. Alright, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Okay, it's dead. Wait, is it? Yes, it's dead. Cool. And then... Back to the top of the order. It's Cassie's turn. Um, yeah. There's an adult in front of her. Guess what she's gonna do? Do it. Energy lacerate. Infinite damage. <laughs> Time for the aura, aura of energy blade... She's gonna extra she attack. Miss? Yeah, she of missed. Of course. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Aura. Aura. First one. Aura. Aura. Oh, big aura. You see the first attack? She kind of thrusts the katana through the bug's mouth and then slashes upwards to finish it off. Nice! Dang. Then she's going to use her movement speed to continue the attack. Oh, right! Yeah, because rules is written because it hit, she gets to... Oh! Oh my god! That's incredible! Ora! Ah, uh, that's the end. Uh, wait, is that the end of her spree? That is not the end of her spree. <laughs> Very close, but not quite. That was almost the wrong damage. Dear Christ, why did he make this a thing? <laughs> and it's dead. <laughs> yeah. And she's going to continue the attack. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I've never been more glad of finding that basket. <laughs> Alright, I just have to create a new attack because I'm tired of scrolling up now. Okay, that's two more that hit. This is fucking redonkulous! Oh, it ends! Woo! It finally ends! And as a bonus action, uh, she's going to use her yeah, healing. Yeah. And heal for five. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Incredible. Fucking Incredible. ridiculous. Is there even any yankers left? I'm... Yeah, there's one. There's one down here. <laughs> Is it going to pull Hulk into the Caltrops again? Let's find out! Da -da 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 -da. Hey! Ha! You activated my trap card. <laughs> Oh yeah, because you set your spear, yes. you get to attack yep. it. That hits. For five damage. It's enough Actually, to kill it. 
It does an extra D8 worth of damage, too. It's enough to kill it! <laughs> Alright, um... Hugh! Uh... What's alive? <laughs> the last adult. <laughs> oh. Um. You pew? Um. <laughs> okay, I'll just shoot it. <laughs> um, with me rifle. Christ in his 12 apostles. Yeah, it's dead. 28. It's it's dead. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's interesting. That's the end of combat, guys. It lasted one whole round longer. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. it's kind of it, that's crazy when we when we use when we have you know shit. All right. Uh, I I would like to spend a uh, I would like to pump. Um, I think 20 mendings should do it into myself during this short rest and another 10 into Cassie that's 30 minutes of casting is that alright or does that count as strenuous activity uh, give me one second to double check uh, uh, mm, mm, mending didn't require you to touch the object and re recast it that many times on top of it also requiring verbal somatic and material i know you have a spell casting focus for that yeah you're still using literally every tr trait of spell casting on top of it's not necessarily concentration, but you're still spending a oh, minute. Fine. In... I, I don't even really need a short rest. I've still got yeah. two shots in my cannon arm, so I will I will forego the short rest while everyone else short rests mm. to heal up my chassis. So let me roll a quick 60d4 to see how many points of healing I have available. Oh, cool. That's enough to heal me and Cassie to fall. <laughs> Sounds about right. Cassie will go back to 67. <laughs> Cassie will go back to 67. There we go. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I, instead of rolling my valuable hit dice, will just, uh, second wind myself because that comes back on a short rest. Also. Oh, hi, Belly Bell. <laughs> Baby girl. Uh, I took no damage. So. <laughs> yeah. MVHP lasts until the next long rest, right? Yes. No. Nice. No? No. Is it last short? Is it short rest too? Short or long rest. Last Dang. time I remember. Let me double check. But, uh. I don't know. If I hit the short rest button and my temp HP goes away, we'll find out. Ah, my temp HP didn't go away, so I guess it's not... I mean, that's not guaranteed, but it hints. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going so well. I can't wait for it to go horribly wrong almost immediately. Unless a feature that grants you temporary hit points has a duration, they last until they're depleted or you finish a long rest. Yep. Cool. Cool, huh? Yeah. I thought it was the a short rest. The only thing with the temp HP... The only thing with the temp HP is if you that use that thing back. again, and you still have all the temp HP, it doesn't matter, you replace them. Yep. But I mean, let's be honest. What are the chances I kill something before I take any damage anyways? That's fair. <laughs> So, before you guys move over to the next side, um, is there anything you guys want to do? Uh, question. Can I regain one charge of Caltrops 
by scavenging from the two I used. Because, like, this one wasn't touched at all. Are caltrops and ammunition? Uh... Technically speaking, they are a single-use item, not an ammunition. Yeah. However, they do act similar to an ammunition, so rules as written, no. Technically speaking, he could not get them back. But thematically, he can scavenge ammunition from the field. Yeah. And you regain half. Yes. I'm going to rule it as yes. So I regain one. You regain one. And then those two disappear? Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, besides um, that. Also, does anyone have any uh, ammunition that they don't care about? Uh, I only have I, 28 shots left. I only have eight shots. <laughs> I technically have infinite ammunition for my pistol because it's built into my arm, but it takes um, it, it takes a long rest to get it out of there, and it doesn't actually have infinite ammunition. It's just how the integration rules work. Ah, uh, okay. Like, I guess I could try and, like, fall... <laughs> Rules as written. I could try <laughs> and, like... your arm and shake out infinite amounts yeah, of bullets. shake out infinite bullets. But I'm pretty sure Dylan <laughs> would say no. Yeah, reasonably okay. enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As cool and as funny as that would be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, it yeah. is well, also I, uh... the time you guys would normally end... I'm down to keep going for as long as you guys are down to keep going until you either extract all the ore or retreat completely for the, you know, third floor. Uh, yeah, I'm good with keeping going. Um, we've still got another 15 minutes until we normally stop, so... I think we should get this one out of the way, because this one looks like it's going to be a total bastard, this one over by the lava. Um, and or this one in the corridor. Those both look like bastard ones, and we should get them out of the way. Any objections? I want to know what's in here. In where? Over here, the food. Oh stuff. yeah, that thing. Yeah. With the grapes and the jar and all that in the crate. Oh, you are down there. Perfect. Cool. So loot it. Taking a look around, um, it. Looks pretty lifted recently. And you guys do remember hearing rumors from the dwarves at one point that nobody's been down here for a few weeks. Not from their encampment, at least. Uh, intriguing. And they have spike things going out from it. They also have uh, non spoiled food, so somebody is. Around. Hmm. Is this like a tent? It is. Is there anything in it? Um, a bedroll. Um, it looks like the, they basically just kind of live in the dirt. It's a little dug in, kind of, with where the bedroll is. Almost like it's a, a nest. Uh huh. Is it cobalt sized? About, yeah. Okay. <coughs> and then how about the crate? Is that just more food? Uh, taking a look inside that crate. Find potion of speed. Ooh. Hell yeah! Woo! Alrighty, I will. I will accept the potion of speed. Ignore that. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what about the crates down here? Um, those ones seem to have been raided. Dang! Okay. How about that one with the slice? The cheese crate. 
Um, it just seems like more daily rations that are being kept, a little bit of salted meat. Um. Okay. Alright, so Rafe is also going to recall their barriers at the end of this, correct? Oh yeah, absolutely. And then everybody's going to reload their guns and stuff, correct? You know, Apart from me, done. because I was bit uh, because I was busy healing myself and Cassie. Yes. How about these crates? Where are these? Let me find you. Oh, so I'll light the little bonfire thing. I guess might as well. Also, I gather up two of the barbecued bugs and feed them to my drake. Then I look at the third one curiously and take a bite out of it. <laughs> yes. Um, it tastes like crab or lobster. <laughs> Though it's been sitting on the dirt, so it's kind of, right. you know, kind of gritty. Eh, inside adds texture. Inside that crate is going to... Inside those crates are... Doo -doo -doo. You find oh, you a small pouch of ammunition containing about ten. Let's go! You find a pouch containing a hundred silver pieces. Ooh! Okay. And... More rations. Whoa. Yoink. All right. Um. What was I gonna say? I was thinking of something. Um. Crap. I had thought, and I lost. And the now thought. it is gone. <laughs> yep. No thoughts. <coughs> Head empty. Mhm. Mm <coughs> Only remains. All right. So, are you guys gonna use that little tunnel the rust monster created earlier? Uh, yes. Uh, the ones Nahali is going to jump this gap here, uh, which is a twenty foot jump, which she can easily do with a ten foot run up, which she has. Correct. Uh, Ooh, and discussion from earlier. And Molly is going to wiggle along the ceiling. Cassie needs to go into basket mode to get through the tunnel the Ross monster made, and I believe it, the tunnel the doll deposits us somewhere around here. Are uh, are these the crates that Philip was looting earlier? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I believe we get deposited where I am, roughly, from the tunnel. Why can't I update this token? No, hold on. I have to refresh my page. I don't know what happened, but... Oh, that sucks. It does happen occasionally. Not near as often mm -hmm. as when you host, but it does happen. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna climb onto the ceiling and walk across here. Where'd the driller go? God damn it. Uh, I yeah, presume he's still there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I thought too, except he's not. He, he was so big, he ascended to a higher plane. <laughs> <laughs> so for this ore pile... Are we doing uh, Bardic Inspiration or Enlargement? Uh, I'm doing Bardic Inspiration. Okay. 
We're swapping back and forth, basically. All right. How many more times can you use enlarge reduce? One. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Eh. I am I going to save that for. for the boss room. So I feel no, like we're that... going to want that to go fast. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I'd say, yeah, I'll use, yeah, we'll have, I'll use my second bardic inspiration here, but this one I think we can do normally. Hold that being a terrible idea, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> There's you. Well, there's you. There's who? I think you said here's I'm right you, here. not where's you. Yeah, you put Fulgar on top of me. Fulgar's down here. No, he's not. He's up here. What? Yeah, and confirm, I'm up here. What? That's your I... page again, you. I just did it. Do it again. Uh... <laughs> you and your shit here, man. <laughs> why is, why is my internet, internet working bro. better than you? That's it. We're doubling down on the wave dice, Philip. <laughs> no, 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 just for Philip to no, do that. No, 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 no. I would never. I'll oh. make me bring up Bonk Hammer. <laughs> Don't make me bring up Dobby. He has a Glock. All right. Master has presented Dobby with a Glock. <laughs> All right. Uh, how do you guys oh, want to set up I'm for back. this? Uh this one is going to be a hell to set up for. I think. Um, uh, uh, stands on the edge. I guess I'll stand over here. Yeah, I am going to hold on. Actually, what's my cannon gonna... range? I'm Go over gonna... here, because they can oh, only pull us ten feet, right? Feet. It's a hundred feet. Yeah, they can only pull fifteen feet. They can pull fifteen feet. All right, I'm good staying here then. I'm at least 15 feet away from all the lava. Uh, I am going to stand here. Well back from... Oh, no, that's too close to the edge. I'm going to stand here. <laughs> Wait, no. Mm, does that count as in the lava or not? I don't know. Is that quick? But there? Yeah. I would say that's Is on this... the edge. This would warrant you being in the lava, yes. Okay, in that case, I'm good to go here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mage, you can go there. Baga. Uh, yeah, oh god, I, no, we need the driller to be here, because that's as far away from the edge as possible. Ooh. There we go, perfect. I'm always gonna move over five feet. I said five feet, Jesus! Molly, I know you like your uh, dwarves, but Jesus. Uh, let's move Scout, like, here. No, that's still too close to the edge. Scout should be, like, up here, I guess. <laughs> uh, Engineer, yeah, we're just gonna have to all be really clustered together awkwardly, just in case Yankers show up, and then they won't, it'll be Praetorian, and so we'll all get fucked. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, I'm like, I haven't even rolled this yet, I'm hoping I get Praetorians just to fuck with them. You know what, she's gonna yeah. stand right here. Um, I assume that white thing is a torch gauge. Yep, gauge. that's a torch. God damn it, Gage. You know what? You, you instead. What? What's my range of my shit? Oh, no. So I didn't that. What Hugh should do is just hide over by the other ore. That's what Hugh should do. That's what I'm going to Because <laughs> I'm invisible, and I can shoot <laughs> shit from 250 feet away. Oh, yeah, you basically cover everybody. 100 feet. There yeah, you I can go. cover this whole top with my revolvers, <laughs> and then I, with my rifle, I can shoot all the way the fuck okay. down there. I have, I have my placements for my barricades. So the two healthy ones here, one healthy one here, and one unhealthy one here. Healthy one. Uh, let me start with the unhealthy one. Oh my god, I would love to have the select correct tool selected. Unhealthy one here, correct? Do, 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 do. Uh, yes. You see Hugh. 
Marco like walking off to away from the light. It's like, don't worry, guys, I'll still be around. And then he just freaking poofs. Yeah. <laughs> Once soon as he hits into the melt in the shadow, see him anymore. Yeah. Which is ironic because he's a sun kobold, sun tribe. So he's kind of sparkly in the sun, but mm. with no light. There is no sparkle. Wait, There's you no sparkle darkness. in the sun? <laughs> yes. I spend an hour. I spend it's... an hour absorbing sunlight, just praising the sun, and uh, I get temp HP equal to my uh, what's it called? Con modifier for my con. I think it's, no, well, that's it's my really modifier. good, especially with yeah, con plus with te- my level. Or no, it's my level plus my con modifier. Oh my god, that's incredible. Especially given that temp HP doesn't go away until yeah. long rest. It also... You should do that every day. <laughs> I do. But once it's got, I do. I already do that. It also gives me plus 10 feet. I can only do it once per long rest. And I've already... already ah. Ah. Alright. Oh, wow. And it sparkles makes my in the track. sunlight. Like a sparkly gay vampire. <laughs> hey, that's the other campaign. <laughs> yeah, if, 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 if they were gay, that. honestly, the books have been much more interesting. But sadly, they were all very straight and Mormon. Uh, <laughs> <but>. <laughs> I mean, they were. I mean, yeah. yeah. Not, uh, I mean, I never read the book, but I do know what the book says. I'm just not sure I agree with the book. Never mind the fact that they he have was some pretty iteration gay. of the word <laughs> beautiful every twelve. I mean, he words. wasn't actually. He was. Um, he was mostly just a controlling dick, incel dickhead. Like, he wasn't actually that gay. All right. He was just kind of a dickhead. <laughs> Are people... All... Do I have... I gotta have everybody. I have you. Volgar, Scout. Engineer. Thriller, engineer. Cassie. Molly. Mage. Molly. Holly. Brave. Brave. Yeah, that's everyone. Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, wait, no. Rekma. Where's Rekma? Oh my god, where is Rekma? Rekma wasn't in the last combat either, now that I think about it. Oh my it. god, Rekma's hiding! Where does Rekma go? <laughs> Rekma! <laughs> Buddy? Rekma he accidentally casted invisibility on himself, guys. Don't worry about it. He's here now. See? Where do you want him? Just tell me where to put him. <laughs> uh, uh, here, I guess. Rekma's here, guys! Well, we have... Hey! <laughs> Sorry, guys, I was a little lost. <laughs> I love that we just lost the Chaos Cobalt and nobody even noticed. That's how good his invisibility was. <laughs> I just didn't think about it. <laughs> oh god, he should have hit yet. This all the... the last combat too and everybody was like, no, no, we're not missing anybody. <laughs> I just didn't Rick think, the... we have too many people. <laughs> <laughs> think of all the chaos he could have caused in that whole whole, like, minute and a half that we didn't know where he was. <sighs> He's over there playing patty cakes with another bone devil. <laughs> uh, and you're giving him bardic inspiration for this, right? Yes, I am. Which will, uh, give me a moment, give me a moment, because the sheet really hates it when I don't do this properly. So I have to specifically go... Bardic Inspiration, D10. Yes, I'd like you to consume an available use. There you go. So basically he gets a D10 on his roll towards for goal. Mm-hmm. Okay. In addition to his D6, I think he normally rolls. Correct. Now it's time to see what you'll be facing. Any Yankers? You give us live updates on what we're facing. Uh, I'll, 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 I can't really do that, but okay. I don't have telepathy. <laughs> no, I mean, like, just. I didn't mean actually give us live updates. <laughs> I was and there, joking. Standing from the corner is an adult bug. Standing two foot tall, four feet long. It's very menacing. And it's hungry <laughs> for a metal. Oh, fuck, it's a rust one. Ah. Oh, well. How'd I roll a five? 
<laughs> <laughs> you must roll the one because that's. How the fuck? Wait, shouldn't that shouldn't that literally be impossible? Don't you have like a plus seven modifier or something? I do, cause it's my dex modifier. What's my? Where the fuck is it on here? You have a plus four for your dex. Then another plus three. Why is it only on the tiebreaker? Okay, so roll your own initiatives, apparently, because I'm it, when I hit the roll all button, it doesn't oh, uh, incorporate everybody's that. proper bonuses. That's interesting. Where the fuck I mean, is I hey, only I'm have good, I'm good with it. So I'm good with it initiative. I only have um, plus two. So. I re-rolled yours because what you have is a little more realistic. Because if you have a minimum of like plus six or plus seven, like yeah, <laughs> it just yeah, I, I re-rolled it for you. You're in a decent spot now. Okay, I'm trying to find where the fuck the button is for it, though. Uh, one moment, let me see if I can spot it. I believe you just click the thing saying initiative, so if I click it, yeah, it just tells yeah. you to roll it. Where? Uh, it's like, next oh, to no. strength. Yeah, uh, not oh, for me, it's yeah. over on the right next to movement, okay. but... Really? I don't you. Oh, you know what? It, That's why... Is because for whatever reason, my actual character sheet, it's not including my any modifier to my freaking initiative. Oh, how strange. I mean, yeah. You just have to manually put it into the modifier box underneath initiative. Yeah. Because I have... Wait. That gives me bonuses. Yeah, bonus to your initial roll is equal to my wisdom modifier. So wisdom initiative bonus is two. Submit. Mod two. Okay. All right, that is everybody in the combat. It's gonna start off with the driller. The driller is gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> All done. Oh, sick. Yeah, he's Stop. done already. <laughs> yeah, that's the power of inspiration. <laughs> it adds a 1d10. The goal is rolled on a flat 1d20. Wow. Yep. Uh, so I guess we're just waiting... Uh... I guess we could fuck off. Could they do anything to our barricade? The barricades? Uh, you literally... Basically just finished setting them up before this. Uh, yeah, if you left them behind, never mind, uh, you still would have to at least try and run away from, uh, wherever the enemies are coming from. Oh, okay, I oh, guess we'll I stay and fight them. them. Here. We'll, we'll stay and fucking fight them. Whatever. All right. <laughs> at least it is who we prepared for. <laughs> Full guy. Well, I can't see anyone from here, can I? No, I cannot. Okay. No. You can't see uh, shit from here. I hold my action until I can stab people, I guess. Engineer. He is going to hold his action to keep things away from the driller. <laughs> Nahali. Lexi? You hear? Oh, she's falling asleep, I guess. Well... I hope she didn't fall asleep, the poor girl. Lexi, you value you okay? I mean, the thing's blinking green, but I don't hear nothing. Oh, we can't hear you. If you're trying to speak, we can't hear you at all. I'm really sorry. It might be the thing where you accidentally muted yourself. Because I know that you did that 
at one point. No. Oh. We got nothing. I guess hold a blunderbuss shot at a cluster of baddies? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. Honest, they're in melee range and then just track them with hammer. Oh, uh, no. Uh, blunderbuss still works for that. Alright, well, I can see things. So, uh, can I'm gonna shoot that spitter right there. You gonna shoot that one? Okay. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I forgot to also... Actually, how far away is it? 95? Alright, I'll use my revolver. That's what the range. Alright, Okay. It's dead. Okay. Ooh, there's more of them. Uh, my Dread Embouchure attack. Uh, I'm going to use that the other spitter. Cool. Uh, and then, is it not dead or is it dead? No, uh, it is still alive. Okay, now I'll re-roll the d12. Okay. Oh. Ooh, it's four, so it takes two extra damage. It's dead. Ooh. Oh, wait. No, it's barely alive. Barely alive. Damn it. Okay, regular extra attack. I'll shoot it again. Kill it. Come on, kill it. You killed it. Double ones. <laughs> okay. You killed it, don't worry. Um, okay. Yeah, that's it. Rafe! Um... Can I see anything? Oh wait, no, I distantly see a Yanker all the way fucking down here. Hmm, how far is that? 80 feet, let me check something. What is your range? Okay, great, cool. This one I will actually shoot with... Uh... Oh no, wait, there's a second one next to it too. Okay, hmm, let me check something else again, quickly. Um... Oh, I guess you do see that, huh? <laughs> 60 feet, how far is that? That is 80, 80 so I need to get 20 closer. So, hold on, six... Yeah, I could get to there. That would be... Uh, 20, and then I could go back five. Oh, it's risky. I'll take the risk. Okay, I will go here, and I will use Ice Knife on... Uh, right here. Okay. It has a 60... It has 60 foot range. So, I pull out my, 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 my wand of... Um, which gives me the ice knife. And yeah. Alright. Roll the hit. Normal. That's a hit. Roll damage. Actually, wait. That's just going to kill it. And then each creature within the And then five it, everything feet. in the area needs to make a saving throw or take 2d6 cold damage. Okay. Hey! Still dead? Uh, all the ones you can see. 
Sick. In that case, I will then use my last five feet of movement to go here. It's probably a mistake, but what can you do? Mage's turn. He's going to hold his action for in case he sees a bug and firebolt it. Cassie's going to hold her action just in case a bug comes along. Yankers. Here they come. Oh, I see. I see. This fucker survived. They do be yanking. Hmm. These ones will have to use their dash action. Buzz buzz. Dabbing? Dabbing. Buzz buzz. Buzz buzz. And then... Which one are you hitting, Gage? Uh... I guess this guy? Okay, cool. Roll the hit. Yeah, I think I hit. <laughs> yeah, you put him on the ground. Does extra attack work with held actions? No. Okay. In that case, that's all I can do. Okay. Those Yankers can only do that. Buzz Buzz Rafe. Ah, uh, shit. It actually managed to get to me? Using its dash action. Oh, great. So it doesn't actually get to attack me. Unless it's multi-classed into Rogue. Spitter time. Is it? Stop giving him ideas. <laughs> Is it multi-classed into Rogue? <laughs> Is this the legendary rogue bug? Hey, Foga. Bring it! <laughs> Ranged web attack. Yeah! Uh, alright. What's your AC? 19? Yo, yeah. Yeah. Alright, it's gonna make a second one. And it's gonna hit for 9 damage! Oh no! My temp HP! DC yeah, but, uh, 12 it's... strength saving throw. Why can't I roll? <laughs> Suffer the restrain. What do I have to do to break it? Use an action. Oh, oh well. The guy the is scout done can drilling. Also use an action. Oh wait, hold on. Is he restrained or is his mount restrained? He's restrained. So his mount can still mount move. Clear. He's just webbed onto the mount's back, right? Basically. Oh. Right, so it doesn't actually that impact your mobility at all. Yeah. I can still attack. Well, you yeah. can still attack before. You just get disadvantage. Everything gets advantage against you. Yeah. Eh. And that also, you, it, doesn't your mount attack as well? Technically speaking, yes, but I didn't want to throw too many things into the turn. We already have a bunch of insects, and I didn't feel like dealing with it. Yeah. Sounds cool. He's going to target the spitter at the top, and go to the driller. The driller be... The driller's done. He's yeah, he's in his... If I could stop Made rolling, like, minimum on every time I do it, it would be fantastic. That would be... <laughs> All right. Uh, the driller is going to hold his action until a bug gets closer. How did I still not get Rekma onto the net? There we go. Oh, shit. It's yeah, Rekma's Rekma's turn. <laughs> 
I'm... Yeah. Rickma's gonna vine whip the yanker in front of you. Nice. Go Bulbasaur. <laughs> Oh yeah, it hits, and the thing basically explodes. Nice! Blech. There we go. Then it's Zerilla's turn, who's gonna hold his action in case a bug gets close. Then it's Fulgar's turn, who is currently restrained, and surrounded by a bunch of yankers. Oh no! Christian! Can my mount use his action to unrestrain me? No. Dang. He can use the health action. Would I oh, say so the help? What would the help would just give him advantage on the action Correct. to get rid? Okay. Mm. I mean, it gives you disadvantage on everything, but you get advantage because pack tactics because you're a kobold, so you're rolling normal. Uh, let's see. That is a bonus action. All right, cool. I'm going to, because I'm tired of them still beating my 19 AC, Field of Faith myself. It's now 21. Okay. That makes sense. And then I guess I'll use my action to tear this crap off of me. All right, you can try. Uh, little strength saving throw. And my mount is helping me. Congratulations, you break free of it. Yippee! Yippee! Alright. Uh, that's your action, that's your bonus action. Do you want to move? Yep. Nah, I'm good here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. Unfortunate. Engineer's turn. Um, <laughs> being trapped within the barricades and not really wanting to be yanked into the lava, he's going to kind of stay where he is. Nahali yeah. is... And <laughs> um, energy movement. Yeah, can't really get. She'll stay where she is. Hugh, we're showing the spitter. You have advantage. Whoa, I always have advantage because I'm invisible. You have double advantage. Whoa. <laughs> um. Is there any other sh crap down by them in the bottom? Not that you can see. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll use my gun, this revolver. Let's go. Oh, the 15 hit? Yes. Okay. It's dead. Okay. Whoa. And then, uh, extra attack. I'll shoot that yanker, I guess. Okay. Actually, I'll use my other revolver. This one's not enchanted. Okay, rolled a hit. It's dead. Okay. Uh, that, that, that's it. Cool. Rafe. Um, okay. Let's move... One, two, three, four. I can I see and shoot this fucker. The metal barricades are full cover. Yeah. Yeah, so that's no. what I figured. Uh, in that case, I will dash and I will go one, two, three, four. Uh, no, that's gonna get me too close. I will, I will dash and I will go. Uh. 
I will just, uh, I will go, yeah, I will stay where I am. Well, no, because now you're right next to the lava. Yeah, but it's 50 feet away, which, from past experience, in, so this one was 55 feet away and it had a dash to get to me. So, 50 feet is probably safe. Me she said know. foolishly. Actually, you know what? I will dash and I will move here, which I believe... No, I will move um, here, which I believe makes me 55 feet away and therefore it would need to dash to get to me. Let's see here. So I'm safe. <laughs> Mage is going to fire bolt the yanker near the dwarf. On the bottom. Hell yeah. Attack. That is not a hit. Mage is going to miss. Ah, Cassie is not close enough and has to get over those barriers, so she is going to stay exactly where she is. Yeah, I set up a barricade stuff too much. Ah, oh, well. You live and learn. Yanker turn! It's happening to somebody. Fulgar. <laughs> I'm taking three attacks. Let's go! Oh, great. Okay, let me refresh my page, apparently. <laughs> what? the attack's not working. No, what is it doing now? What is it doing, precious? It's nothing. It's doing nothing. That's the problem. Come on, I believe in you. Alright, that's it. I'm tired of waiting for the actual attack roll. Okay. Now, granted, I have to roll twice as many now because of it, but... Uh, Gage, two of the attacks hit you for six and five, respectively. Are you remembering that his AC is now 21? Yes. Right, I just wanted to check. 21 and 22 on the dot. Dang. Um, for six and five, respectively. And then, Constitution saving throw. Please, thank you. And then a second one. And then, <laughs> the spitters that no longer moving. exist. And then, Rekma. Wait, why is Rekma hit twice? Wait, why is Rekma? What the? F okay, weird. <laughs> Wait, why oh. is Rekma here? Rekma's altering what reality. Rekma? Who is Rekma? <laughs> Where is Rekma? No one asks, what is Rekma? Um, the dwarf realizing there's not a lot of stuff left is going to just attack the Yanker in front of him. And wow, okay. Reckless turn. Firebolt? I guess. Yeah, move over is, and firebolt. Just like the is mage. Is there did. anything for him to firebolt? 
Yeah, there's Bianca right here. Well, can he? Because of the barricades are in the way. Uh, the mage had a go at doing it. But he can too. I was going to pop right, right between, between the barricades. The barricades. And he's going to cast Acid Splash right here nice. to hit both of those Yankers. Nice! Oh, wow. Incredible move, Rikma. Rikma the goat. Mm -hmm. Saving throw. Saving th throw. One of them is dead, one of them is alive. And that is it for Rekma. It is the Driller's turn. He is going to stand by Fulgar. Booga booga. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them till they're I dead. Stab. Kill them till they're dead. Dead. Wrong thing. And I stab. And dead. Is that all of them? That is all of them. Oh! Oh. I only got four attempts. Actually, you know what? I killed a second one, so I get to reroll. Correct. Damn it! <laughs> Fate's telling you something. Right? I get four yeah. temp HP, apparently. No more, no less. If that's it, then, uh, yeah, that's the end of combat. Um, it Ooh. is now 8 o'clock. <clears throat> I assume everybody is probably good with the session here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good with it. This is, this was fun. We've got, we got three of them done. We've got two to go. I might have been forgetting the D20 this entire time on top of the normal one. That's why it was so fast. Hey! <laughs> so, you guys got it lucky because I fucked up on the notes. Hey! <laughs> you know what speed? That means no one dies. Hmm. Maybe oh, we should we rerun the session rest. another time for you guys. <laughs> <laughs>